Okay, so my turn just ended, so it's Blowfish's go. Yes, I'm not hearing anything from <laughs> the audio stream. Go. It's running now. You're just lagged. Right, I just didn't know if I was having something wrong happen. Uh, could we have a quick summary of what is currently going on? Oh, right. oh my god, ah, oh, enemies, ah, oh, they're done. <laughs> How about an informative summary? Yeah, it's been quite a long hiatus on this. Alright, fair enough. So, quick summary. Most recently, Maximilian Mars brought you back to Mars Tech, and brought you down at a secret elevator in his office to, well, where you're currently fighting, the vault where he explained his access to this alien technology that he gathered quite some time ago, that um, you assumed it was part of Telex before, now it's basically guaranteed. Since Telex has kind of ripped off the building above you trying to get at it. Telex came in, ripped the building out of its foundations, including the, um, quite a lot of ground that was between you and it. And after doing so, a whole bunch of his mind-controlled stormers jumped in. You're assuming they're his. They could be the commanders, I guess, but it's not very likely. And from then on, you've kind of just been trying to stay alive. It's been working. It has been working to some extent. Heartbreaker Does managed anyone to pull off his uh, miraculous saving of everyone in the Mars Tech building through a combination of two different summons of his. We'll see the uh, real downsides to that in a moment. Let's see. Out of what you've done, Blowfish has been winged. Mosquito, mosquito has winged. been hit pretty hard. It's winged Mosquito. Ah. Yeah. Heartbreaker has managed to control Electron, who is going after Junk Pile because she's protecting Mars. And Ralph has currently grappled Dr. Shock, but doesn't seem to be doing much to him. Well, I got a way to do anything to him. Yes. Uh, and Precious also appears to have been immobilized. I don't know front from, but... From the goose. Oh, fucking cash. Oh. Alright, then. But, so far, oh. Precious is just a cat. Yep. Just a, a cat fell into the hole. Yes. Yeah. Ian, could I get a uh, control E from you to bring the stream machine to this map? Thank you. Now, Heartbreaker just saved everyone in the building. So far, he's not quite collapsed yet. Anyone who could look at him will tell that is a temporary state. Boy, is you supposed to have steam rising off you? <laughs> Ellen would say if he was close enough that her breaker could hear him. I'll see your hands on fire. So yeah, my I would assume my eyes are also glowing uh, a, a nice bright heart pink now. Why not? Heartbreaker, are you going Hulk? <laughs> <laughs> All right, and Blowfish. I'm on my knees grabbing my chest. So <laughs> because we made sense to us for him to go through heart pains while using heart powers. Hmm. Thematic. Blowfish is flying up in the air. Like Kirby. Yes, he is inflated. That is so goddamn stupid, it's amazing. <laughs> he is a blowfish. That's how I don't works. care, stupid, it's amazing. <laughs> so now he is going to go looking around for a good set of targets he can aim at. I know I'm only protected by a kitchen counter and wall here, but, um, yeah. All I can check is what the burst area is. A 30-foot radius, okay. Fuck, is he? I don't know, we'll find out. Oh, no, I'm sorry, this is a cloud. Oh, no. Which is a 15-foot radius, but it lingers. Well, when you, tell, when you do it, tell us what it does. Yes, yes, he's trying to find the best place to put it. Unfortunately, we're actually pretty spread out. I don't think a 50-foot clock at anyone except one, even in no. the case of Duke and Hart. You will never get one. So uh, he is currently debating between whether to go for his target or to go for one of you. He could actually get the Duke, Heartbreaker, and Xiaomi, but he'd have to get himself in it as well. Oh, we're <laughs> I'm, 15 so, I'm foot. sorry, what? 
<laughs> a 50 foot, uh, 50 foot 50, radius 50, circle? 15, oh, 15, 50, Never mind. Christ. Yeah. <laughs> 50, Jesus Christ. Just... Yeah, he's not Omega. <laughs> yeah, no, 15. I'm saying there's no way you get a 15 with anyone except just but one guy. His Roger priority that. is to catch more than one person in this, so he will be aiming for Heartbreaker and the Duke. Fair enough. It really is the only targets he'd get more than one person with. I, I wish I had a 120 foot gravity knowledge. shield now. <laughs> I wish I had a kaiju sized mech, but I don't. If you're not. Yeah. So Blowfish will turn towards you two, floating in the air, will puff up his cheeks, and spit out a long stream of purple smoke at you. Sir, your powers are strange. What's Please make me a dodge check, the both of you. Ah, oh, poop. Okay. Says the man who has to convince his electric razor not to malfunction every morning. <laughs> Shut up. Sorry, I forgot what the macro to roll, to roll is. I have, I don't have my macro anymore. Ah, uh, brackets. Just brackets, numbers. Oh yeah, we uh, we don't have um the the, the saves the ability scores integrated in uh, this campaign. Uh, square We're brackets lazy. or yeah uh, yep. yeah square square brackets around a dice expression. So you know one d whatever. So like I did in there. Pluses and minuses work fine. Sorry, what am I rolling? Dodge, dodge. It is an area effect. It generally dodges what you do. It's with your. It's among your five defenses. Parry Fort will toughness. Dodge. Okay. okay so dodge a wrench. Heartbreaker you manages dodge to ball. dive out of the way of the big of this purple smoke cloud coming at them. The Duke does not, because well, the Duke is the Duke. the Duke. He doesn't really move so much as shift from side to side. Please make me a fortitude check. The Duke doesn't Pain. care, obviously. Nope, doesn't care. I don't care either. Sealed container. Clunk, clunk. Unless uh, this gas has some way to eat through to the Duke to get at me. No, uh, you're doesn't. fine. Alright, you are both fine. But, uh, <laughs> you notice that that purple smoke cloud, I will also move Heartbreaker out of the cloud because he did dodge. The Duke doesn't care. Nope. That purple smoke cloud is sitting in that area, and there's pock marks forming on the ground inside. Oh, I want to watch this fucking acid. Yeah, I need to get out of this. Or I could just stick Next Dr. Up, Shock in it. Dr. Shock. I kind of mean, though. Ah, second. Sorry, go on. Now, how do you get out of the grapple? Uh, you may, may, you may take a standard action to attempt to either use your choice of your strength check... Or your uh, either dexterity or agility. I'll go look. Either way, they're crappier than his strength. Um, I think you're also allowed to use like the equivalent skill of escape artist or some other thing, but I don't think he has that. So them's your options. Hmm. I will point out in a second once I find where it is. Um, I'll check it in a minute. What's happening now is completely different. Um, I feel like I need to bring something up here. Mm -hmm. I can currently see every single defense stat. Really? Yeah. Yeah, we kind of... Well, oh, he's right. Yeah, I thought I could just see it on Mars for some reason. No, yeah, we can see it on everyone, can't we? That's oh, strange. That That is a, uh, a setting on... Uh, you need uh, you need to start the server with strict token ownership. Alright, and... so I guess we're restarting. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Uh... Hold on, I may change it to the Red Duke to more accurately represent, so save first, then restart. What, what do you mean? Uh, the, for it, some reason the Duke's token was, like, his stats were wrong, so I fixed it, so... Well, I just saved. Were they fixed when I saved? Yes. Okay. Yep, so... Uh, uh, okay, using better of strength or dodge, that's what it is. Of dodge? Yeah, you can choose okay. to use your dodge defense instead of strength to try and escape a grapple, which... Mm. Alright, yeah. connect. Reconnecting. Let me 
know when everyone's loaded. Hi, Telax. I'm fully loaded. Loaded. I'm back. Locked and loaded, in fact. Stream is restored, and I'm restored too. On the right map? Yep, and I can see only what I'm supposed to see, the condition of the enemies. Hurrah. Yep. I'm gonna go punch Talax, I think that'll help. Alright, you can go have fun with that. <laughs> okay. Dr. Shock. He doesn't care that he's being grappled. Okay, well, enjoy the... Enjoy sucking something next turn. Go on. Make a toughness check. Uh... Make a toughness <laughs> check. Okay. Ah, oh, whoops, wrong one. Sorry, yeah, hold that on. Is, that is not your toughness. <laughs> Alright, hold on, I gotta go find it. Okay, it is. Okay, sorry. 20. I am the dumb. Alright, there you go. Okay. If it is a uh, effect damage 10 or lower, it does it is not. a check of nothing. Yeah, I, I'm guessing he has a touch attack electricity, and you're by definition touching him. Yes. Yeah, pretty much. Dr. Shock has the uh, little metal nodules on his head start sparking between each other, and the Duke gets a pretty nasty blast of electricity. Take a bruise. Okay. The Ow. Duke has been damaged. <laughs> there it goes. Ow. Well, you decided not to release, try and get out of my hold, so now you're going to get suplexed. Hmm. We'll see about that. Would Junk you say pile. he's going to a suplex city? Yes. I would. Junk Pile has Electron in front of him, but he's been told to go after Mars, and he's being controlled anyway. So... Yep. He's going to surge right past Electron, just kind of forming around her. Blarf, 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 blarf. Come to here and smash the security robot to bits. You can still miss. Sick a swing. He uh, does not. To smash the security robot to bits. The security robot yeah. goes flying through the open hole in the ceiling. Bye. <laughs> Crunch. Hi, Junk Pile. Junk Pile is getting closer to his goal. Alan. All right. Alan. If I remember right, all these all these uh, computer banks here are like ten or twelve foot tall, and I may be standing on a floor that's about four feet above the lab floor here, right? Yeah, but no, you cannot see what's directly behind them. You right. can see Blowfish, because he's flying. Yep. And you can see the top of Junk Pile from here, but anything else that's behind a computer bank, you can't see. Yeah, I can see the Duke, and I can probably see Heartbreaker, ah, yes. no problem. But, yeah, the uh, uh, Precious here will be hidden among the stuff. All these security robots, no line of sight. Mosquito, uh -huh. definitely no chance. Nope. Okay. Um... Uh, question is, um, mm -hmm. am I after Alan? Like, and if so, how many steps? You are You're very next. next to Alan. Okay, cool. I'm gonna do something stupid. Um, I'd like you to do the stupid with me. I was going to drop this guy like a dead rock and grab the thing, throw it at you, and you transform it into cottage cheese, because I'll be fucked if Talax gets what he wants. Hey, how about you voice that in character so I know what the hell you're talking about? Because those were just all this thing, then that thing, then the blob. Who are you <laughs> talking about? Alright, alright, I'll try and voice this in character. Hmm. Alan! Yeah, sorry. Alan, that thing's out. Mm. I can't do it. <laughs> For some reason, hold on. I gotta get, like, engineer mentality. Give me a second. Alan, that big cahoots is going to go straight for the thing he's been after this whole time, that hunk of himself. I want that turned into cottage cheese or cotton candy or whatever the hell you want. Hold a second while I get it to you. Uh, yeah, just, uh, duck. 
Don't hit me with it direct. That's why I said duck. All right. I will delay my turn until after the dukes. Okay. Assuming it's my turn now. It is indeed your turn. Okay, well, Dr. Shack, you can just fuck off. Oh, Bye. actually, before it is your turn, Telax okay. drops the building above you. Like onto us, or? No, <laughs> it hits the ground. Well, if you look on the Mars Tech map, the Vault Lab surroundings, the building is currently where the ant swarm is. Oh, okay. So right. it is dropping on Nearby. the empty lot to your north, which causes quite a thump. It crushes so many cars. And actually, everyone make me a dodge check. Yeah, keep your footing in the earthquake. Actually, that's not a dodge check. Natural 20, whatever it was. Yeah, those, uh, those ants shouldn't be there anymore. Should yeah, they not? Are they actually desummoned after you do that? They should be, for yeah, what we, remember. Yeah, we established that. They they came in, did their thing, and went away. Okay. Uh, hold on a second. I got a natural 20. Yeah, no, make me a agility check. But yes, you did get a natural 20. The Duke is stable today. Agility, not dodge. Oh, I just raw see. agility? Yes. Alright, uh, that's, that's the difference between a plus 8 and a plus O oh for me, so... Wow, you suck as much as I do. Hooray, high fives. Raw agility is expensive to raise if I don't have skills based on it that I use every day. Yeah, I didn't think it was so hard to get me to just strength 13. Sorry, raw agility is what we're rolling? Yes. Yes. Which I think only Chill Man of this group is good at. My unenhanced Which... agility is minus five. <laughs> That's because your unenhanced agility is that of a quadriplegic. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> Alan, give, now, now you give me a dodge check. Okay. That okay. can help. <laughs> MU3. In the enormous crash and rumbling of a building landing on the ground... All of you managed to keep your steady footing, except for Alan. Yay, broken glass in my in my ass. <laughs> Alan stumbles over his feet as he's getting ready for, you know, the Duke to throw a giant hunk of metal at him. Good job on the duck. Bit but, extreme, but... He does manage to roll out of the way of a piece of falling rubble that would have landed right where his head was. Hooray. Hooray. Also, now for next Duke's turn. And okay. for next time, I just noticed that uh, uh, you didn't share the campaign macros with us, so we don't have all of the uh, oh. easy buttons for toggling states. It should well, be fine for this session. Yeah, I can handle that. Okay. Alright, so Dr. Shock, you can just uh, react to you release me, I guess. Uh, hell what? I'll determine whether or not I can go with him before I decide to release him, because I can do that. So, strength check for Dr. Shock versus me. Oh, by the way, you take this at a minus five. Well, minus five from what you usually get. Because I haven't proved hold. So, sucks to be you. Great. Oh, wait, hold on. Double I gotta double check that wording. Oh, no, that's just to escape, not to. Yeah, really uh, go I with think you, Sorry, you can drag a restrained or bound target with you. The target gets a strength resistance check against your strength. Yeah, if basically. If it fails, you move, the target comes with. If they resist, you are immobilized unless you choose to release them. Yeah, exactly. So, yes. Okay, Make your so roll. Raw strength versus raw strength. That. You cannot move oh. them. Okay, then. Bye. Uh, oh. Well, it doesn't matter either way. I have to go... Actually, hold on. Can I? Well, I don't care about the shit in my way, so yes, I can You can it. walk through it, yes. It's not that sturdy. <laughs> right, so he's no longer uh, immobilized or vulnerable and all that, because I dropped him when I realized I couldn't take him with me. I'm like, fine, stay here. Yep. I uh, pick this guy. Okay, that was two move I think I needed to do. So I'll spend yes. a hero point to be able no, to pick... No, you mean you'll fatigue yourself. Next you'll, round you get to choose... You'll lose extra effort. Next round you get to choose if you want to use a hero point to get rid of the fatigue. I'm using an extra action, I thought, to use the yes. hero point to get an extra action. No, no, no. You fatigue yourself for extra effort. Hero points to get rid of fatigue. Can't use a hero point to get an extra action? You can use hero points immediately to do re-rolls, but extra effort is a different thing. You can just 
choose to fatigue yourself at the start of your next turn to get an extra action or to what get a power we've been doing is every time you've done that, you've used the hero point to make yourself not fatigued the next round. We've yeah. just been doing it ahead of when we're supposed to, so far. Pretty Which doesn't actually make a difference. Well, well, it, it doesn't, doesn't make, make a difference. I have an extra action, I'm not fatigued because I'm spending a point. Be good. You are not spending a point yet, but that can be totally what you plan to do. I will to get rid of the fatigueness like, yep. before my turn is... Yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm throwing this thing. Okay. Make a strength check. Is it seriously that heavy? Yes, make a strength check. Okay. It's a space it... probe, almost as big as you, dude. Yeah, but it's just a space probe. And that doesn't succeed. This, I can't. Like this, is, space. this is where you notice that it feels a lot lighter than it should be. Well, that backfired. Make me a perception check. Hmm. Uh, I think it's this raw awareness on Ralph's part, but I'll double check. Because he might have at least um, a couple Actually, since yeah. Alan is watching as well, Alan can make one as well. Oh, yeah, because he doesn't want to get hit by it. Sure. Ralph M3s. sees nothing. Alan does notice that the air around that thing, the pod, is colored differently. But for now, Ralph, you have lifted it. Well, I'm, I'm, the goal is to launch it at Alan. Or Make a range it. attack. Hey, Alan, catch. Oh. Well, not at Alan, sorry. I'll reiterate. Aiming. I'm assuming I'd like you're to... aiming... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you want to send it through the window or through the wall? I don't care which. Uh, uh, well, he's prone. I'll go through the window. It's easier, less likely to get stuck. Well, you are prone. It's not yeah, getting yeah, caught in the yeah, window. Yeah. <laughs> and then it lands on him. Make an attack check. Yeah, I'm just double checking to see how. Yeah, Please this only counts not, from. Please do not turn this wall into shrapnel. Uh, dexterity, right? <laughs> yeah, it's I'm not rolling too good. None of us are. This is the Except session where the dice turn against us. But you are aiming at an inanimate object, so... True. The wall yeah. isn't moving. <laughs> that's not. That's the good part. So I might have done okay. Yeah. About that. <laughs> Don't forget, I can throw really, really, really hard. Oh, it's not this about is that. me aiming, it so is, this thing is probably to, going... It has nothing to do with you throwing it. Is it not actually there? Hold on. Let me uh, check something. It's actually... Blowfish. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's a bit odd, I think. Blowfish has exchanged places with it. The blowfish we thought was blowfish is actually the actual shard. Um, let me know when you start making sense again. No. <laughs> Gonna be a while. Eh, I'm just checking something really quick to make sure this is done properly. What do you mean again? Hmm. Alright, that's a little, uh, fortunate, I think. Oh, wait, no, I've got it. As part of Telex, it comes alive and attacks Alan. Not a bad idea. Thank but, you. no. Damn. It All right. turns into the other kind of probe. <laughs> uh. All right. You throw the probe, and it soars in the air and through the open window and crashing into the wall behind Alan. You managed to make the throw, Yay. but you hear a grinding noise from above. Far, far above. Is that him grinding his teeth in rage and in impudent rage, please? Um, Thing. it's rage. I don't know if it's impudent. 
Telax has moved directly over the vault. He's actually turned down so that his eye is looking in at you. Yeah, I just do your thing. Come at me, bro. <laughs> that eye narrows. Eye lasers. Let's see where the Death Star laser comes out. Yeah, it's just gonna <laughs> suck. Well. That's not fair. He's not in the net. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm on his thing. He's not an initiative. Fuck you. <laughs> Once he wants to start something, he has to roll. Suddenly, there's a flash of blinding light. How my eyes? I'm not going to tell you what's happened just yet, but make your character changes. Okay. Uh, all right. So, for me, it's fairly straightforward. I assume everyone has those ready to go. I do. Uh, mine is um, bounce to just a. Like the only thing on my token is just a change in a couple of these skills. Let me know if you have any problems actually making those changes. Just a moment. I need to double check my math to be sure, because I constantly forget. Sorry, what changes now? Uh, uh, yeah, we just, yeah, we just leveled. Or whatever the hell you want to call it. Oh. Okay, just a sec. Yeah, I did warn everyone to try and have this ready. Actually, it is one per rank, so that's two per rank, so that's two points right there. Okay. Yeah, so you mean the, the 165th PowerPoint updates? Was it 165? That was the... Or the 164th. You just hit power level 11. For reasons that will become clear soon. I'm checking how many power points that actually is. Uh, power level times 15. 165, yeah. You now have 165 character points. And you're okay. power level 11. Yep. Only change for me is one of my skills. The rest I'm, I have to save. Really? I am... If we're only going to 165 precisely, yes. I need to wait until 166 before I can make my next change to powers. Uh, you need that many points. Yeah. Mm. Because I need I need four points in order to uh, increase the rank on this, and at one six five points I only have three. Okay, that just uh, that's just an upgrade to my change to my uh, change of heart and all the powers associated with that array and my heart of the wild. Okay, just make sure you mark those down so you know that it's happened. Uh, it's yeah. double, so eleven times two is twenty-two, not twenty-one. So actually, things okay. That actually changes a little bit. Let me know when you made any changes you have to to your tokens. Yep, all my changes to token are applied. Mine should be correct. I don't need to make any changes to my tokens. Uh, mine are correct for the purposes of what you'd see on the token, anyway. Yep. Uh, just double checking. Don't tell me he just broke that thing open and now we have all been hit with the uh, silver storm. <laughs> God damn, that's what happened, motherfucker. <laughs> I don't want this shit in me. Get out. No, please. no. You wish that's what happened. Aw, oh, poop. Sure, I could use more powers. Do it up. <laughs> <laughs> now you have the power of sucking. I already had that power. I know. <laughs> So, no changes to make the tokens? All done.
Okay, I think I'm done. Double check. You disconnected or reconnected? What happened there? Hmm? I don't know. Must have been My internet's been really shit lately. Just a transient failure. He's back. Okay. Hey. Oh, the map is gone, but whatever. Yep. I already made the change to my topic. Yes. too. It appears we're in transition. Ah, uh, no. Oh my god, what happened to my body? <laughs> Alright, any other changes you need to make can happen while we're going, I assume? Oh yeah, everything, I think I'm done. Yeah, I've done all I can do, which is mostly just... Right. Well then, let's get this continuing. My heart has been broken. You're hilarious. Ha. <laughs> yes, that is everything. Okay. I got tougher and a little more accurate. Hooray! So the last thing you remember was a flash of blinding light and your stomach suddenly lurching. When your senses clear, you take a look around, you realize you're no longer where you were. The Mars Tech campus is gone, the vault is gone, and Telax is gone. Replaced by an alien cityscape. Where the tits am I? <laughs> Impossibly tall spires soar up all around the broad plaza you stand in. Graceful ramps connect them at different levels, and balconies look out into a night sky covered with unfamiliar stars. You realize that some of those flashing lights in the dark heavens are not stars at all, but the flares of powerful weapons and explosions. Then the muttering and call of voices in an unfamiliar language draw your attention back to your immediate surroundings, as a number of people in the plaza slowly back away from you. Some look human, save for the occasional pale green or blue hair, while others have pale green or blue skin, or small antenna, or pointed ears. The Duke just went through the gate from contact. God damn it. Are, are we all, at Comic-Con? All are wearing expressions of I concern. I really hope we're at Comic-Con. <laughs> Some of them glancing or pointing upwards, then back down at you. And that's when a group of about a dozen men and women push their way through their treating knots of people. You may not understand the markings on their uniforms or the words barked at you, but you definitely understand the tone and the gun-like weapons leveled in your direction. I understand the words barked at me. Yeah, one of us can speak all known. Yes. They're shouting the usual things, though there is a word that is not translated for you, which uh, is kind of funny what the word is. Gru. Actually, actually, before we uh, mm -hmm. resolve that, I have a complication if we're not on Earth anymore. Yes, what is it? My powers are tied to the Earth. Oh, that's the word trouble, difficult, isn't it? I am a Captain Planet character. Yeah, that is true. And it's absolutely correct. So Which, your ring might not be working right now. At all. Uh, if it is working, it's working at diminished capacity. I'll leave that to the GM to figure out exactly how it's working. Because of some other capabilities, I will say it's working at diminished capacity. These will become apparent later. But for From now, Earth you do, you do understand them. They're mostly yelling things about, you know, put your hands up, get out of the robot, die, grew scum. Die, grew scum. Well, that doesn't know. sound friendly. Um, okay, yes. Point of confusion, just go clear it up. We're all here, okay. Yes, you are all in the same place. That's only just pointing me. weapons at the Duke, or all he woke you. up first? They are Almost. pointing at all of you. You have not woken up, you have appeared here. Okay. Uh, hmm. I am putting my hands up. Hey, yeah, I'll join them. <laughs> For I... all the good it's doing. Uh, they're telling you to get out of the robot, buddy. Eh, like hell. I am putting my hands up, and what is the ground? Just pretend I on? am a robot, all right, everyone. <laughs> what were you saying? I, I, I will. Alan will put his hands up, but what is the ground we're standing on? Um, Both by inspection and by matter canning. Just from looking at it, it's... It looks like polished steel. From matter canning, there's definitely steel in it. There's 
actually a lot of diamond in it. And how thick is it and what appears to be below? It's thick enough that you can't tell what's below. Okay, so over 60 feet. Jiomei, are you raising your hands with the others? Just delay a little bit. She'll actually put her swords away first. <laughs> Slowly. Or drop them. They're just metal sticks. I'm not Get dropping more metal them. metal sticks. Oh, fine. It's weird how the sheaths are the actual weapon. Anyway. They, they look expensive. The soldiers will all step closer. Today was a really bad day to leave the Uzi at the at home. Uh, seconded. Hey, you got the jetpack though. Uh, uh. They'll continue yelling, which Heartbreaker can interpret as saying, "Get on the ground." I am on the. Oh, what the? Oh. I uh, am getting on the ground. Um, they, they they want us to get down, people. Yeah, these 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 people figures are they human? They're humanoid. <laughs> well, that's a plus. Uh, are they humanoid? And then we can't tell because they're covered in body armor. Yes, they are covered in body uh, armor and have full so. helmets. So it's, if they did have they, anything, have, that they are of roughly human shape and size, but aside from that, two but legs, two arms. Can you yep. tell if they want to hurt us or if they're afraid of us? That'd be assessment, I think, so if someone could. Um, he, has, he still has his emotion sense. It will be greatly diminished, but he uh, still has a little bit of... Range. Oh yeah, it's 60 feet. Yeah, they're all in range of me. Yeah, they're mostly terrified. Okay, well, if you lay that, I'll sit down. I uh, can't really lay, but I can uh, sit. I, I will say that, so I will say that... Uh, in English, not transmitting that in their language. Yes, uh, they're they're scared. They are going. Uh, I think they're gonna hurt us if we don't do what they say. And that's the thud of Duke taking a sit. Yeah, Chomi will drop to her knees first, and then and all the way down. I'm going to uh, uh, Heartbreaker. Try to communicate with them. I'm just gonna put up a slight protective measure in case they get jumpy and i'm going to put up a invisible crystalline air sphere around us it's as invisible as air is right yep assuming we can breathe this air then you have any problem so far <laughs> yes well, i'm going either way it's up to you guys <laughs> all you guys start suffocating so, i can save one of you <laughs> all of the soldiers simultaneously raise their weapons they either saw that or something. Uh, they start yelling for you to lower the barrier. They saw that. <laughs> okay. Uh, good news. Uh, bad news, guys. Uh, apparently, they have infravision because that's pretty much all that would be blocked by this kind of sphere. Uh, Alan, Alan will wait for the no gunfire to immediately process and let it dissipate. They keep their guns at the ready, but they're slightly lowered. Alright, that's a good sign. <laughs> well, while, while I'm standing here, uh, if I still have it, I'm gonna try to use my healing power to heal my bruise. Actually, you can just take a... Since it doesn't require you to do anything special, you could just use the recovery action to get yourself back up. Well, you're right, the bruise you can't get rid of, but the other stuff I was thinking. Do well, you we're... still have it? He hasn't used his recovery action yet, so... No, Ooh. the power. Oh. Uh, I'm leaving... Mm -hmm. He's leaving it up to you uh, under the terms of diminished capacity. Oh, right. And that will probably get more diminished the longer I'm away from Earth, so... Yeah, you can use this once, but then it'll be gone. For now. You know, as long as you're off Earth. Yeah, I'm gonna hold onto it, then. I'm just going to lay on the ground and wait for my bruise to heal itself. 
uh, quick question. I do hate to bring this up in the middle of this very exciting moment, but uh, I'm not sure whether or not the advantage improved defense affects deflect, and it is kind of important. So if someone can uh, uh, look into that while I, we continue. Improved defense, you said? Uh, it's an advantage, yes. I'll take a quick look. I don't know if it interfects with deflect or not. If it does, I'm taking it. If it doesn't, I'll find something else. Anyway, continue. Just a second. When you take the defend action, you get a plus two circumstance to your active defense checks for the round. So doesn't deflect action is not a defend action, despite it being a defend? I don't know. It's weird. That I I don't know what deflect says. If it if it is it only specifically happens draws when you out, use see the, the defend action. action. It does say specifically uh, see the defend action, and like it's supposed to be the defend action. You just get to affect okay. other people with it. I think. It okay. Then, the... Yeah. Then it is. Then it is defend. Yeah, so it uses all the rules of defend. It just lets you yeah, do it with other people. Yeah, I see that. Mm -hmm. You should interact on you. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I have that, so better at deflecting. Yay, more defenses. Moving on. Uh, while Heartbreaker. The... Oh, yeah. With what uh, senses you still have, there's somebody else with mental abilities drawing closer. You're almost within... You're thinking it's a her range. So, Someone's uh, coming, guys. Should we be talking to these? Well, they're obviously grunt. So, is someone in uh, charge coming? Yeah, Duke, did you happen to press any buttons that I you weren't supposed to asshole. when you picked that thing up? I did not press a button. I'm not saying you meant to. I'm, not, I'm saying that thing didn't have buttons to push. I looked at that thing closely. My hands were in its guts. If there was something to push, it would have been pushed then. Telax did something. You didn't, Considering he was staring at you with a giant orange eye before this happened. And you, you didn't happen to squeeze a teleporting organ or something. Okay, number one, no. Number two, and if I did, at worst it affect me and you. At, like, okay, no, worst case scenario affects, like, the whole city, but notice that only us four came, and Harp and Xiaomi was some distance from the object, as was Heartbreaker, and no one else came, no Mosquito, no, uh, well, nobody else at my point. And we're all in the exact same spot, despite not actually being the same spot, like time relative, blah, blah, blah. Point is, if it was that object, more than us would have come, or less than us would have come. You get me? It's after your little explanation that a voice pops into everyone's head. Is that mine? Yes, I suppose you don't hear it, do you? Nope, wouldn't hear anything. That is the disadvantage of this. Just a bit. Well, we've allowed my communication power to work with them, so... I suppose if it's... I think I can let it down if it's friendly. The thing is, I don't know this outside force, so it just defaults to no. Nope. Yeah, it, it's easy to say that he could have been able to get Heartbreaker through, knowing exactly what Heartbreaker does, but... And it is mechanical, so I could just literally tune in to just you, but with outside forces, it's just an auto-no, unless I know otherwise. So for now, I don't know. Well, the voice that comes into your head says... Lower your weapons. I sense these strangers are not connected to the arrival of the Devourer. Yep. No devouring of anything more dangerous than a cheesy poof. Us. <laughs> Someone mentioned cheesy poofs? The soldiers Alan are muttering just amongst announces themselves. announces that out into the air, hoping someone hears it. The soldiers are muttering amongst themselves, and it's on the tail end of the word cheesy poofs that you find you're suddenly understanding what they're saying. Well, not a surprise to Heartbreaker, but everyone else, besides Ralph. Why'd y'all mention cheesy poofs for? Uh, Bawi Grana we Minibog? You're not speaking their language. You are speaking English. <laughs> for a second there. Oop, eep, ork, ah, ah. It's the universal greeting, guys. Come on. <laughs> I don't have an energon ship to give them, but... You were speaking English. They are speaking lore. You just both happen to understand the other. And they are looking at you very strangely. Right, I got no idea what the hell's going on. Yeah, it sounded like someone responsible just made contact. You didn't hear that? Nah. One of the soldiers steps forward. That was Mentat Elva. What the hell does Taco Tuesday stand for? 
Ralph, the, the adults are talking. Yes, Ralph, you do not understand a word they're saying. They understand every word you're saying, just for out-of-character knowledge. Well, I'm assuming it was like taco something something, and he just took it as Taco Tuesday because of all. Yeah, however you want to take that. <laughs> uh, so you understand me, I don't understand them. This means comedy. <laughs> well, for now, I'll be silent. Go ahead. The soldier looks between all of you. Turns back to his fellows and jogs back to talk with them. So what was that about Taco Tuesday? Because this is a surprise party, this one sucks. Ralph, when was the last time you took your, a your ADD meds? I don't know, I'm pretty surprised. That's how they should control you, you know, you're not supposed to take those. That's how who controls you. Exactly. <laughs> Eventually, the same soldier comes back over. Um... Hail! Yeah. Greetings, strangers. Um... We are going to take you to meet with Supreme Praetor Ramlev. Hopefully he will know what to do with you. Did he just ask to execute us? I can't understand a word this man is saying. We're we're being taken to a to a to a to a, to a men what what was that mentat men what mentat Elva is who is allowing us to speak at the moment. She is a bit preoccupied with the points upwards of the explosions in the sky. I could ah. certainly use a Mentos. Is he offering Mentos? We are taking We're... you to meet with Supreme Praetor Ramlev. We're, we're being taken to their head psionoclast, apparently because we don't have anything to do with the war that's going on up there, so, um, uh, uh, yay for us. Yeah. I'm assuming they got a shuttle back to Earth. Can I get up yet? That's a good question. Yeah, yes, of course. Stan. Was that a yes or a no? That was a <laughs> yes. yes. Just... I used the Duke to pull myself up. And you're more still incredibly weak. I help you out. I got you. Yes, you are at least given time to recover here. All right. Oh, it's going to be an hour before I recover from this. So. Yes, it is. Well, you can use the uh, to at least get exhausted off you. You can use the recover action. I mean, yeah, you won't have it for the next fight, I presume. But I, yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure I actually used a recover in the last fight. So. I think we were going to use your recover to get rid of it after you did your super heroic thing. So I think the fight went, it started, you did super heroic thing, and then this happened. Yeah. Yeah, you, you hadn't used it. It, was, it had only been like three rounds. Very short fight. Yes. So, funny well, like, thing. I can only get the exhausted off anyway, and it'll go away in an hour, so. So, fuck it. Yeah. All right. I yeah. made this map because I assumed you'd go for the violent option. <laughs> You don't know us well enough. We only go violent when we're being especially crazy. Yes, well, considering you've just been transported to an alien planet, I assume that might be in the cards. Eh, yeah, fair enough. Thing is, we recognize police from anywhere. They're pretty obvious. They're technically not police, but sure. Well, they're police-y. These, these are more soldiery. Yes, also, the, these are the military. Uh, also, the citizens are concerned, and when citizens are concerned, I tend to sit down. Hmm. The, the Duke could have gone for the violent option, but I wasn't going to. Yeah, yeah, there was that too. I have comrades. I'd like not to get shot. Well, Shelly would have been fine, but these two. Uh... The uh, lead head on soldier, to her praetorship. Yes, just follow us. We're moving quickly. They're taking us to a giant praying mantis. What? They uh, set off jogging, expecting you to keep up because there is a war on. I turn to a truck, open the door, and, like, gesture to Heartbreaker to get in. Okie dokie. I mean, yeah, I'm assuming you don't want to fucking walk that when, the way you are. And I'm not, not cradling really, no. you like a baby, so let's get in. Luckily, the place they're taking you apparently isn't that far away, which is probably why there was such an extreme response to you. Oh. They're taking Fair you, enough. as they talk throughout the travel, to the Republic Senate. From what you could see, it looks like a giant arena dominating the city's skyline. And, um... 
I swear, if someone says the word Sith in this place, I am <laughs> throwing the first car I see as far as I can and then just gonna leave. Don't really need to worry about that, I think. What's up, Sith that? <laughs> as you're going through the area, it's mostly deserted. It seems like people have gathered in that plaza because it served as a good place to watch the battles above. Even if you could only see explosions. Fair enough. Weird, but fair. But as you go through the Republic Senate, because it doesn't make, take you very long to reach it at all, it's mostly empty. You're used to the bureaucratic rooms and stuff that you're having to go through, receptionists, check-ins, audience rooms, waiting rooms, everything you expect in a giant government building. It's all empty. It's had to be executed. What? And there goes Skull out again. Also, mm. Brad, you'll have to hold your microphone closer. You're really quiet. Okay. That works. Welcome back, Skull Hat. Hello? Hello. Hello. Hmm. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, huh. Guess it clicked out. Alright. Yep. You're back. Okay, so I was saying um, to my allies, because because I'm blatantly stupid like that. Y'all sure they ain't sending us here to be executed? Because this is a little too empty for my comfort level. Do you have a homegrown teleport home just sitting in the cab? I was gonna, but I thought, well, what's the chances of this happening? And I'm like, the distances are so goddamn vast, that to be some sort of hyper alien overload to do this, and then that happened. The soldier yeah. looks at Alan and Ralph. You will not be executed. We have far more important things to worry about than you. Could you please execute them? And if Metrans Trans- Elva says you are to be trusted, then you are to be trusted. In uh, continuing to translate for Ralph, who apparently doesn't seem to be picking up on all of this, Alan will repeat. He says, only if we make trouble. In any case, ah, that's fair. the head soldier there introduces himself as Captain Khan Ro. Why is this guy named Nacho? <laughs> and no, you're quickly brought into eggs. the vaulted senate chamber. As you enter, it's in utter chaos. There are senators and others loudly arguing about what should be done with the praetor in the center dais calling for order. The arrival of you provides focus, and suddenly all eyes are on you. Let's get you into the map. Howdy! Ew, they took out their eyes and threw them at us. Ew. <laughs> we are on an alien planet. Oh, I forgot what token. Let me just grab that. Are we in somewhere else, or elsewhere? Yes, sorry. I, I will be revealing it in just a moment, making sure your okay. tokens are situated. Okie doke. That should do it. I'm hoping for the leader to be hot and have four breasts. It's a man, so. Ha! God damn it. I thought, Not that he, reality I thought either, there was guy. a woman in my head. Mental Elva is a woman, but she's not here. Maybe they're both genders. Or a mysterious third gender. Maybe gender isn't anything. They don't have genders. Maybe they're all clones. Maybe we're just being yeah. assholes. Maybe Possibly. they are clones. They were going to attack us. In any case, you're brought into the Senate chamber, and everyone turns to look at you. Lift an arm and wave. Howdy! Whispering breaks out, and the Praetor, standing in the middle dice, puts a hand to his ear, as though he's hearing something. And then he glances at you. I have informed that you are visitors from the planet Earth, judging from your biology. The Lore Republic has considered others from Earth valued allies and friends in the past. 
I regret the circumstances of your arrival, as none of us may survive the threat we now face. Uh, pardon me, but, um, I am afraid we are not privy to the circumstances of our arrival, as just a second ago we were busy fighting for our lives against forces controlled by something called Pelax. And we were winning, too. The Praetor raises an eyebrow. I do not know of any being known as Telax. It I am. could be a minion of the Gru, but I do not see their purpose of bringing you here from Earth. I'm of the opinion. I think he just kind of <clears throat> tossed us in irritation. Asshole he was. But even the Gru we are fighting is not the real threat. If you'll permit me a moment's time to explain, Senators, as he glances about the room. They don't really consent, they just continue to argue amongst themselves, basically. Is Ralph understanding what the Praetor says? Not unless he realizes it needs to lower his mind shield. It's not occurred to him yet, no one said anything about it, so he's blitheringly just waiting for things to make sense. He's, um, I, I'm assuming someone's translating for him if he's just going to poke someone and say, hey, what do you say? Well, that's what I, That's why I've been repeating what the captain says. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see? If anyone wants to poke Ralph, go ahead, but otherwise there's nothing happening. You um, say they mentally implant it, and he'll start, you know, you know, realize, oh, right. Yeah, uh, Ralph, um, stop yeah. playing Pinocchio there. Like, pop the hatch and say hi. Y'all sure they... Nah. If, if Gilfire is going to open up in here, I don't think there's anything we could do about it anyways. But the Mind Shield is part of Ralph, not the Duke. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> I'm aware, but if he shows his fleshy face, then maybe they'll mention it, because all, all Al is trying to do right now is dissuade the, uh, uh, okay, we are we are willing to be trusted. I... Out comes Ralph. Tips his hat. Praetor Ram Lev gives a short tense smile that Ralph popped his head out, but otherwise I didn't really acknowledge it. I'm out here again. So that they can see that you're not a evil robot or something. We knew the man was no machine. What do you say? Said he, he knows you're not a machine. Us. Uh, he can he, he can be thick, but this is a bit special. Ralph, what what What? Are you you two are hearing this, right? Hearing what? I hear you. Uh, I He's could understand speaking... them before they started doing that. Yeah, I hear him just fine. Mentat El Vaj projecting a telepathic translation field and over that's to a lot why. of us. Hold on, give me a second. Uh, you don't understand that. Yeah, uh, he says he should be projecting a translation to you. You uh. Hold on, is this is this something to do with your little uh, headband there, Ralph? As I've been telling you, uh, uh, oh damn, what's it called? A wreath, a, a, a wreath, a, a crowd of leaves is uh, really not your style. Whoa, okay, there it goes again. It keeps doing that. Does ah. you have an audio dropout? Yeah, and drop from, like, you just keep getting blips of no internet, then it comes back on, and... Hmm. We'll deal with it as best we can. What's the last thing you heard? Uh, no, I was I kept up. I'm just communicating that Alan is trying. Sorry, Ralph is trying to ask. Y'all know what? Is it a mecha mechanical thing they're using to translate, or some person's power? And is it based in like? I don't know. Ask him. It. Mentat do... Elvaz, our most powerful psychic. The hell he say? He said Mentat Elvaz, their most powerful psychic. He should oh, be yeah, translating that narrows it for down. you. Hold on. Alright, I'm on an open channel. I hate doing it, but fine. There's a moment of fuzziness, and suddenly everything they're saying starts to make sense, including the less-than-kind words being thrown around the Senate room. Nah, this is about right. Right then, I can hear. Or, hear. Hmm. Then, let me explain. Our people have a legend that the gods descended from the stars to create life on our home world, Lorvan. 
They taught the people the arts and crafts of civilization, agriculture, architecture, mathematics, and more. It was said the star gods created life to atone for also creating death, which they bound in a black pit beyond the stars. Still, their failing ensured that they, all they created was mortal and passed in the world of time. Although we left such quaint myths behind a millennia ago, our travels out amongst the stars have taught us of a power of death and destruction bound within a black pit deeper and darker than any can imagine. Its names are many, spoken in fearful whispers throughout the cosmos. The hungry darkness, the endless pit, the star grave, Collapsar the Devourer. We long thought the Devourer a myth as well. Uh, and question. what evidence might such a fall? What? You were interrupting me? What? Is he a black hole? Yes. Fuck. A sentient one. God damn it, son of a... Okay, get on with it. Of late, word has reached us of a force moving through the galaxy, leaving devastation in its wake. Collapsar is real, is coming, and I can only pray that the star gods are real as well and have not entirely forsaken us. The Guru have simply taken this as a convenient time to reopen our long-standing enmities. Alan takes a few seconds to digest that, then turns and looks at Ralph and continues to translate for him, because he's not 100% sure. Ah, I heard him, I heard him, it's alright, I got it. TLDR, just... forces of destruction can actually think because they're black holes that are alive, and dark elves are trying to help it. Dark elves? That's how this usually goes. Eh, yeah, fair that enough. can't be trusted. Nah, that can't. Huh. Well, that's mighty interesting. Uh, question, is Earth anywhere near here, and anywhere near that problem that's coming this way? Earth? No, you are a far away from Earth. We have had others of Earth come here to help, but they are not here at the moment. All right, so okay, to be clear, um, uh, we can't stop a moving black hole. Far from Earth. Like, uh, that's a little beyond our pay grade to stop a living black hole made of pissed off, so... We were not expecting you to drop into our lap and save us. Ah, good. All right, so as long as that's uh, settled. The problem is that you are likely as doomed as we are. Um, uh, question... Hmm? Technically, every place other than Earth is really far away from Earth. How far are we talking? Far enough that none of either of our spacecraft could travel there in the time of your lifespans. They probably have some real good spacecraft, so that might be really, really far. I could not tell you the exact distance. We have never actually calculated the exact distance. Ooh, We've only ever had access years. with Earth through teleportation, magics, and highly advanced technology. Uh, okay, guys, I have a problem. Mm. My powers are tied to the planet. Right, I've got so... a bigger problem than that. Eh? He just implied that Earth has spaceships that could not cross this distance. Right, and? No, we don't. Yeah, we... We just have shuttlecrafts and crap. They can't even make it to our moon without... Your Freedom League has spacecraft. Yeah, you're, you're a lot forgetting that we got heroes of hyperintelligence, and I'm not even on their list of fellas if in case of need to invent thing. Trust me, if I needed to get back to Earth and I had, let's pretend, all the time in the world, I could. That, But I'm not even the best there is, so I'm pretty sure... They can get here if they need to, but us getting back is the pickle. Yeah. About us getting back. Pause. Ralph and Alan. Yep. Yeah. There is a minor Senate functionary. There are a few of them milling about the room. One of them is standing near the Praetor, presumably assisting whatever the Praetor needs at the moment. He appears to be reaching into his own chest. Why is that man trying to tear out his own heart? You don't know where their heart is. As it's going further, you can see a weapon being retrieved from his chest. I leap into the fucking duke. <laughs> you have uh, one action. I choose to leap into the fucking duke. <laughs> uh, hold on. Where is this uh, this this fellow standing relative to the pra uh, to the 
uh, to the Praetor. Uh, do, 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 do. I will copy one of the senators to show you because he has a different token that I'll be showing in just a moment. He is standing there. Uh, I see a weapon being drawn and I have one action to to respond? Yes. Okay. Uh, Alan shouts, Down! And extends a, chris extends a crystalline air sort of... Uh, football shape. One second while I draw it. Why are you throwing a football? Uh, because I can only do simple shapes. And, well, ah, fair enough. Aerodynamic and all that. I have nothing to do besides run into the Duke, so I'm gonna do that. That is a big fucking football. Hmm. Fair enough. He has a gun! I scream something along the lines of, GUN! And leap into the Duke like I'm gonna be shot at, because I think I am. <laughs> yes, the minor functionary's skin suddenly, suddenly turns green, and he's now wearing armor. Yep, Dark Elves. Now I finally know what a Gru looks like. <laughs> He fires his weapon, which shoots some form of laser, and it hits Alan's shield. Let me determine the toughness of this for you. Uh -huh. Oh, we're at power level 11 now. Yes, you are. All right, this thing's toughness maxes out at 22. Yeah, it deflects. It does <laughs> not get through that shield. Boing! Oh, actually, initiative. actually, due to the volume, this one only has toughness 19, but yeah. His is a damage 5 effect. Gotcha. Roll initiative. Cool. Oh. Making up for all of those rolls of 1 initiative. Yeah! There's, there it is. There's a lot. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. Ah, this is agility, right? I'm not crazy. Hey, show me. Trade you. Yeah. Uh, it is rolling agility, right? Not dex. It's initiative. So, uh, it's the agility. Base, the base is agility, yes. Yeah, I'm just I'm saying I need to know the base because... Come on. I'm to the nuke. Yep. No points in it. No. Oh, I just it. choose to go first when I need to. I'm Usually. not choosing to. Wow! Okay, well... Yeah. Okay, At least then. we have a shield. Hooray! Look at our shiny shield. It is so shiny. And I just need to roll for Captain Conroe. Oh. Congratulations, none of you have the worst initiative. <laughs> wow, he have sad. A, a two and no modifier? He rolled a one and a plus one. Wow, he is the worst assassin. <laughs> he's he's not, not the assassin. assassin. He's a captain. Sorry, he is the worst captain. <laughs> Alan? Um, you have another go. Wait, hold on. Uh, there, okay, there we go. Um... Uh, I am... Uh, if you can change the shield to just cover Praetor Ram Lev, because that's who we care about, I can just go punch the assassin through space and time. Uh oh, I did not. I can just get closer to him and make it just everyone sipped me, and I'll just do my thing. I'm not too worried about him shooting me. Yeah, let's see here. Uh, do I need to take extra movement to ascend the stairs? Um, no, it's not that raised. Alright, uh, I am going to cross the distance and reform, uh, drop and reform the, uh, the, the shield in order to cover us in full confidence of my teammate's abilities. You might want to cover Heartbreaker, too. He kind of doesn't have any powers. He has um, some. 
Eh, kind of doesn't have his full array of abilities, let's go with. And I don't think he's going to be able to summon anything. Alright, I'm going to raise it here, and I'm going to make it, uh, I'm going to make it semi-transparent so that you can see the distortion in the air. I okay. think this assassin is here for the Praetor, and I don't think he's going to take pot shots at us. Praetor Ramlev turns to you as he realizes the shield is around you. And he laughs. You may not have purposely come here as heroes, but... Well. Strange times for all of us. Yeah, yeah that's, 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 my top that's all I care about right this second. Go. <laughs> the Gru Assassin does not like having his uh... targeting a shield. <laughs> yes, exactly. A toughness 22, impervious 22 shield. It's basically a duke. Here is the mobile duke in front of him. Good luck. He's noticed that uh, how powerful your shield is just from the ease with which it blocked his blaster shot earlier. Mm -hmm. So he's going straight to his method of last resort. Suicide bomb? How'd you guess? Because he's That's assassin. how these things work. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> kind of expecting that. I'm just really hoping it's like a mini new because this is space age tech and they can just kind of do that. Yeah. I'm well. not hoping. I only have the defenses of an average human. I said I am hoping he doesn't. If he does, the I'll protect assassin you and hope it works out. steps forward to hug the shield directly in front of Praetor Ramlev and starts to glow red. Everyone gets around. I want to grab everyone I can in truck mode. So I, uh, uh, They're up there, right? Yes. Like, what's raised. keeping me from going up there precisely. Like just, Going up where? Just... Uh, it's about a 20 foot thing above you. Oh, you can no. hop it, but you're not driving it. Yeah. Hmm. I shout for everyone to take cover behind me, and uh, I'd like to have one person go inside the Duke. Uh, probably Heartbreaker, because he's the most vulnerable. Uh, Chelme can just take cover with me, and uh, so can Captain Kenro, and I'll do what I can. Okay. I'm basically just taking my action to, I guess, deflect the blast, literally, my power. I don't know. Chilme. Get behind me! I'm trying to check something. Or just leave. You're really fucking fast. Chilme leaves. Suddenly there's this a nuclear explosion from the building behind her, and she's left alone on an alien planet. Wow, that's sad. Okay, here's what you do. You get a rock, and you start running on it. <laughs> and the force of it spinning will propel you. <laughs> Join us on the next episode of The Outer Limits. Um, That's yeah, not I'm... cruel enough to be an Outer Limits twist. <laughs> Yeah, if, if this guy is glowing, like himself glowing, I'm thinking he's going to... He, he's he's a biobomb. He's stabbing him in the neck is not going to keep him from his dead man switch. Yeah, I'm thinking of a way that I could possibly move him. Did we ever figure out how to do Actually, a knockback? Actually, I had a thought. Uh, there's no guarantee this will work, but it is a thought. It saved the most lives. Uh, what if Alan puts his super powerful shield around him? I I'll need an action to try that. Do you get one? I don't know. <laughs> one point at a time here. Well, the best I can do is either grab him and hold him close to my chest and hope that works, which it won't, or save other people. So I'm going to save other people. Um, I know you can... I know you can, like, uh... As, as, a, as a charge, you could try and use some of your speed rank in place of strength rank in order to in order for impact, but um, 
I'm not sh there there's no official rules for knockback in M&M yeah. 3. The best oh, thing I can honestly try to do is grab him. Which probably grab and that throw. Well, but yeah. Or grab and just drag. Mm -hmm. With my movement. Come on with me. Move. Uh, can you kick the old me? I lost connection for a little bit. Problem yeah, the, the uh, other da, da, da. the other way to do knockback is with a movement attack power. Yeah. It's very very clunky, but worked for Omega. Where is the players? Uh, connections window. Old Skull Hat has been booted. Uh, how many points are in your speed, Chiomi? Not that many. I think I've only got five ranks. It's like five or six, I think, because you're as fast as the And my truck. strength is, or, is at six ranks. Well, Pips. you've got you. Well, you've got your your uh, your your biomech arms and legs, yeah. Yeah. You might you might be able to power stunt a high speed run, grab and throw as best as you can with your uh, with your inertia by power stunting a move object using whatever points you've got in your uh, in your arms and legs. Move your left arm. Then use your right arm to hold your left arm, and then beat him to death with it. Yeah, but... I ignore that. <laughs> She's not arm fall off, boy. <laughs> That's a real thing, look it up. Looking up move object. Two points per rank. Move objects at a distance. Well, you can just take the uh, the the uh, basically take the flaw that it's only while close. So just gives you imp the uh, a, a way to stat out being able to move someone unwillingly. Oh, that would definitely be more effective, I think. Because th this would be able to give you an effective strength equal to however many r ranks you can cram into move object. Instead of what your actual strength is. Right. Because, yeah, that's the difference between 6 strength normally and a rank 11 uh, move object. Just from her arms alone. Our GM approves of continuing this line of reasoning. <laughs> Sorry, Dad, I grapple and try to carry him outside. That's then that probably will fail. She is not really built to grapple. But I do need to know whether this is legally. Explain it again. So what we want to do is have her. Power stunt to use the, uh, the 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 speed and strength she gets from her arms. Put that into a uh, in, instead of trying to do a simple grapple just as per the action. Uh, we want her to run past that guy, grab him by the scruff of the neck, and basically haul him out of the building as fast as she can move. Isn't that just a grab? Grab attempt, follow up, just move by action, move, grab, keep moving. Yeah, but. That doing that, there are two opposed strength checks to be done here, and you she's only got a plus off. six. You oh, want to make easily power stunt speed into a move object that applies to it. Yeah, in order to get in order to get rank eleven strength instead of rank six. Basically, power stunting her arm strength. Uh, Sure, you can do that. You'll still have to make a check to grab him. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, she's trying to use spear speed and momentum to grab him and just keep going. Okay, yeah, now I see it. Yeah, no, that 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 is exactly it. Sure. So you can do that. Uh, so some arms related power. What's uh, what what's the points you've got, Chiomi? Well, in her cyber strength, she has eleven ranks, um, which is a total of sixteen points. Which because of the modifiers. Move object. Well, since it's close range, it'll give me sixteen. Move objects a range hack. Mm, this is true. Uh, just add the flaw close on there. Close, uh, reduced range, pardon me. Which is that you move 1,600 tons. Okay, yep. 11 points, you can get a move, you can get the move, op move object with 11 ranks, which... I thought it was 16 on 11. Uh... Well, it's it's power level limited. Oh, yes, you're right. So yeah, fifty tons instead. Well, more, most importantly, because the grab and the move while grabbing them is opposed strength, it'll give her an effective strength of eleven instead of six. Yes, which I assume makes it your best roll to grab the person. Yeah. So. To make the roll grab the person. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use another hero point. <laughs> okay. You, have you cannot few. possibly do worse. Actually, you all got another one for being unexpectedly transported here. Okay. She can too do worse. You gotta roll the one. Okay. And the Gru gets to oppose that 25 with his own strength check. Or something else, I believe. Dodge. Uh, yes. Dodge. But does he have better? Dodge. Yes, it is. Any? Yes, it is dodge. But he rolled a two. Okay. You have grabbed him very thoroughly. Your hand is basically wrapped around his neck. All, All right. right. How, how far can you get him before you have to let go and then get to a safe minimum distance? Using half your movement to drag him and then drop him there might be the best idea. Yep. Which means how much? Well, since I'm carrying him, I'm hindered. So mm -hmm. that means I have a max of 450. So yeah, let's drag. Roll him your out athletics there. to double your uh, running speed. Oh, yeah. DC is 15. Our legs is crap, though. Try it anyway. You don't get anything for failing. You only need to get it to 15. Bath. Oh no. Good enough to have. Yeah, you tried. So yeah, she can drag him about, I don't know, 200, 250 feet right outside. Well, from there, yep. Yeah, from there. Assuming these doors aren't locked. You can get through them. Then yeah, that's what she's going to be doing. Are you going to run back, right back into here? It's better than standing next to him. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Then you drag him out into, you know, some empty street. And leave him there as you run back to the building. Say what else is need to do. That's better. Oh, that's, yeah, that's all mine, so... Heartbreaker? Well vault over Ellen's head and take her behind the shield. Yeah, she'd probably be able to take an extra ten. Actually, yeah, that's the plan. I'll be there. I'm running to there and dropping from. Okay. I'm putting as much of myself between the blast and people as possible. Captain Conroe will follow everyone's example. Terry Conroe! Alan, I assume you're just holding the shield. Okay, I was not sure if I would have enough time. Yes, I shall con- Um... Actually, I can still... I can still get my, uh, my fellow squishies under here while still keeping... 
uh, strength 22 in this thing. I can't get the Duke and keep it strength 22. No, 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 I'm good. I'm as strong as your shield is. It's good. Hey. Okay. After you've done that, there is a muted thump. This is where I tell you all that this was a damage 9 effect. Well, <laughs> well, we thought it'd be more serious. <laughs> to be fair, it could have been intended to take out this building instead of just whoever he hugged, so... Or this planet, or whatever. Well, if a car bomb can do that and hide inside someone's chest, this war this would war already be over. Be over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Okay, um, should someone go investigate that wet smear? Yeah, go look at it. It's quite a, a way later. Away. Well, I, I can turn to a truck if I need to, but I wander, come back. You might in a also while. have more important things to do. Yeah, you got a point. Never mind. Fuck it. He's a smear. Um, Captain, uh, you mind sending anyone to investigate that smear wet pop that we just heard? Hold on, I'm trying to figure, trying to get the ambition to go away, and it's not working. That uh, should be removed. There we, yeah, go. there we go. The captain nods and uh, steps away to start talking into a communicator. That happened often. Praetor Ramlev uh, kind of sighs to himself. Never so close. We've had plenty of assassination attempts. I wonder well, how that one got so close. That was... <sighs> that grew was... Gulsar, my aide. I had known him for 20 years. So... And they've been waiting this here. long to stab you? Evidently so. He has a long-ass time to wait. Either that, or uh, you guys have yourselves a skinwalker problem. But I'm just going to lay here for a minute. But... Oh, I see. They, just... they have a habit of cover identities to hide themselves from our mentats. I've never seen one so deeply ingrained before. Well, he's dead. Like, a lot dead. So, you're welcome. Can we have a yes. ship home, maybe? I already told you, any ship we have that could take Sorry. you home... Sorry, teleport a pad. We have none. Then have it. Alright, we just come here. Right. Okay, well, that's a pickle. Typically, your Freedom League would not come here voluntarily, but they would make assistance with whatever we needed while they were here until they figured out a way to return home. Right. How did they usually end up returning home out of curiosity, or did they not tell you that? It was typically through the abilities of one of those who came with them, or something one of them built while they were here. Oh boy. Alan is going to turn to Heartbreaker, start to say, Can you get in touch with any, uh, um, never for my turn to the Duke? Uh, Ralph, I will bring you the tastiest things that these people have to offer. If the only thing you do, as soon as we find some place to settle down, is put your head down and come up with some faster than light communication. I'm already thinking on it, pal, and it's not gonna be easy. It is not. I, I don't even know how far away we are, or the a lot at least know what direction Earth is from here. So I'm not... Roughly? Like, I'll take a rough one over none, alright? We oh boy. will gladly grant you access to our star chart. Do you know what we call confirmed. your galaxy? Because no. I'm assuming you're in a different galaxy, but do, do you know... We've we would... never had reason to ask. Well, for future ask. In fact, I'm going to find out is what I'm going to do. Yes, yeah, so I'll be sure to the next time the Freedom League come by. They have not been here in some time. Mm, I've been busy. Alright, well, uh, I'm going to request two things. Uh, whatever lab you have and are willing to give me... And, uh, your patience, because this is going to take a bit. You realize we were in the midst of a war. Yeah, that... Well, I can't stop your war. <laughs> Apologies. We have no room for you. 
during this war. Oh. Hmm. Our I labs don't... are quite taken up with examining Gru technology and trying to advance our own military tech. I don't right. suppose while we um, wait for someone from home to just happen by to say hello that... Um, oh, that's not going to fucking happen. That we could do anything to make ourselves useful so that we don't just get thrown to your local gulag? Actually, that's a fair trade. Uh, we obviously are quite competent. Feel free to let do. me roll diplomacy there. We're pretty competent <laughs> in what we do. That's a fair trade. You know, this we help you out if you let me have a sodding lab so I can, you know, get us home. The Praetor hums to himself and looks thoughtful for a few moments. <laughs> the uncertain <laughs> grin. Technically, I can do it without a lab, but it'd be way harder. <laughs> I don't think my advantages of wealth work here. <laughs> I don't have space dollars. Just a moment. Well, it appears to be working, so go for it. I have an update on mine. There it is. Yes. Suddenly, a dull orange light emanates from the high domed ceiling of the Senate chamber. It oh, spreads hell. outward, and the structure of the ceiling and roof dissolve into glowing particles like cinders blowing on the wind. This is officially the shittiest day I've had in a while. <laughs> the night sky over Magnolia visible behind the silhouette of a slim, tall figure, surrounded by glowing reddish aura as he floats gently downwards. Alright, if you're gonna start talking about taking over the world and so on, I hate to interrupt, but I am going to punch you. Just saying. He could almost be taken for a statue, his skin gray and smooth as marble. Hairless, with beetled brows over the glowing red pits of his eyes, a black circle on his brow like a cast mark. A red and black sash reached over one shoulder, leaving the other bare, wrapped around him in a toga-like garment. In one hand, he carries a kind of crooked staff, like that of the shepherd, save for the glowing point of red light held in the hollow of its curved head matching the glow of its bearer's eyes. Is this the orange lantern? No. Ha <laughs> ha, I had a funny. I get on it. He speaks in a low, firm voice that nonetheless cuts through the room like a knife, easily heard by all. People of Magnolore, I am Horizon, the voice of the void, he who walks before the storm. I come at the behest of my master to tell you that your time is at an end. This world is tainted and will soon be no more. Make peace with whatever illusions you hold dear. So speaks Collapsor the Claimer. Yes, it is a Silver Surfer XP. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware. And right. with his own Galactus XP. Yeah. Right. Thank you for the warning. Could you kindly point us to the warp pad out of here? On you talking, he points to all of you. You! You are tainted by the corruptors, those who sought to interfere with the natural order of entropy. You will be cleansed even before this world is erased from the darkness. I think he's just looking for a reason for a fight, fellas. Roll initiative. Oh, this stuff again. Can't escape it no matter where in the universe you are. Uh, you know what? No, I'm going first. Fuck you. <laughs> okay. You want to be an asshole? Be an asshole. I'm going to slap your ass. <laughs> again. Uh, let me check something. Shall we just... Oh, blah. 
if he has the thing and wants to blow his thing on it. We still have a hero point if you uh, want to change that. <laughs> no, I'm not wasting my last hero point on that. Okay. I think, I think of it is as a. Ah, <laughs> uh, damn! I forgot the term. Go on. Putting it forward. Damn, there's a term for this. Screw it. Go Seize on. the initiative. Yeah, pretty much, but it's a, there's a term for there's a best foot forward or something. There's a phrase, I'm not remembering. I don't know. Exactly, so, you know. Yeah, it's my turn, isn't it? It will be, let me... Just, We're all know. in the mooks. There's no mooks here. I said it's our just mooks. just us. You know, the police come I am in. not a mook. And not you! <laughs> <laughs> I meant like, you know, the security force, useless security force storms in going, everyone down, and they get laser doomed by Horizon because he's showing off. Yeah, by the way, how are the uh, senators around us reacting to the president's Complete of, uh... panic. Okay, good, good. Oh, they don't know who this person is, but it's complete panic. Okay. Are they fleeing for the exit, at least? Yes. Good. Okay, that's a plus. I was worried they'd run around oh, with, like, chickens in their heads. Figure. Did he roll 20? Yes, he did. Uh-huh. I right, still just a win. Second while I grab a drink. I don't care how high you roll, I won. <laughs> Horizon has floated down to the floor, by the way. Good. Easier to punch. Drink grabbed. I love having a bar fridge in my office. Let me just add Captain Off Road to the initiative. Duke! Somebody has just came in saying you need to be cleansed. Well, they're not wrong. You use a bath. I True. could use a bath. And a pressure washer. Something tells me they didn't mean it that way. The pressure washer's for Ralph. Never mind the Duke. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all talk a big game. Tell me, how's this feel? And then I'm going to use ultimate effort. Oh. I effectively have rolled a 20. It's not a 20 in terms of a critical hit. It simply is the best possible roll. Okay. So does a 20... Hold on, I'm using a all-out attack with this, so... Actually, do I need to? Hold on. No, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'll use power attack instead. So, does a 22... Actually, does a 20 automatically hit in this? I don't know. Sorry, what are you hitting with? What are you using? What are you doing? I am punching this man in the face. Really, really hard. <laughs> like, really hard. Mm. Yes. What, what the fuck else am I gonna do? <laughs> Alright. So what's your what's your two-hit roll, assuming your die is a 20? Um, well, I'm trying to determine whether I want to go for accuracy or sheer nonsense levels of damage. Open with damage. See what happens. It's, it's, it's Ralph's way. Eh, yeah, good point. Okay, how's a 22 do? You hit. Sweet. Okay, how's a rank 18? Yes, rank 18 damage do. Uh, well, you roll toughness and then you tell me. Just a moment. Also, I'm going to attempt to grab, depending on what happens. If he goes flying, then never mind, but... Your arm dissolves in a splash of liquid metal. <laughs> ah, <hell. laughs> I needed that. Just hold on a moment. Yeah. <laughs> Your staff makes you look like a weenie. I just asked him how this felt, and I threw all my weight into it, and let's see. I just have to check this. Alright, I fatigued myself doing that, so hold on. Mm -hmm. What rank did you say it was? 18. Sorry. Uh, rank 18, total difficulty of a lot. 33. Thank 33. you. That's about as hard as I'm going to hit, short of like dropping from orbit or something. I can do like one better if I get like some momentum going, but there wasn't enough distance. You punch him in the face. Nothing moves. So just a great loud thumb. Yes. He does not flinch. Your arm does not break. I grab his face. <laughs> you attempt to grab his face. 
Yes, I'm attempting to grab his face. You failed to grab his face. Face sure is slippery. Uh, it's like I just, Rob just sees that, realizes he hit about as hard as he's gonna hit, and as hard as anyone here can hit, and he just says, Y'all, we need to run. Like now. Like now. That's your turn. <laughs> Yeah, I know. That's my turn. I'm just saying, we need to run. Horizon will turn to you, with your fist still on his face. Cheater. He'll tilt his head to consider you for a moment. You are the most powerful one here, aren't you? Yes, I am. Good. Please make me a toughness check. Fair enough. And I'm gonna fuck this. I'm using ultimate effort again. Because I can do that. You'll be exhausted. Uh, don't care. Okay. I'm taking a 20 on my toughness check. What does that result in? A 42. Okay. Fair enough. The Duke is pushed back 20 feet, but it's not damaged. See this giant furrows. Uh, yes. If he is trying to move me, my immobility, well, not immobility, he's my hitting weight. You hard enough to move you anyway. Oh, oh, wow, he's hitting me really hard. <laughs> yeah, I don't think six kilotons matters when you're hitting that hard. Captain Conroe is going to be courageous. He's what do you think I'm doing? <laughs> he's running up to the behind, beside the Praetor and shooting at Horizon. Okay, that's just dumb. That's not courageous. <laughs> what else can he do in this case? Run like I told him to. Man has gun. Man uses gun. Mm -hmm. His loyalties to the Praetor ship. He shoots, and he manages to hit Horizon in the face. But Good just friend. like Duke's fist, does absolutely nothing. Y'all need to run. You need to run now. Chill, mate. You're being told to run. Yeah. That's nice. <laughs> I'm telling you, I hit him as hard as anything has ever hit anything, and it does nothing. He hit me hard enough to, uh, let's say if I hadn't put all my effort into blocking that, I'd be not here anymore. This is superfluous, but, uh, assessment. <laughs> okay. Because I'm already guessing is. higher in everything. Just a moment. Power level infinity. <laughs> well, it might be a powerhouse, but you never know what his deception skill might be like. Yeah, he could have absolute ass in that, considering he doesn't feel like he needs to disguise himself. Yes, you actually know his every detail just from looking at him. Mostly because he rolled a one on his deception. Lol. And it's kind of funny. His dodge and parry are both 10. Everything's in toughness. He did what I did. Asshole. His will is 18. His toughness is 22. Oh. Yeah. His fortitude up. is immune. Construct. His highest accuracy attack is a 14. His highest damage attack is a damage 18. You mean rank 18, not DC 18? Yes, rank 18. In other words, what the Duke just hit with ultimate effort. Yeah, basically yeah. as best I can do is his standard. This is for a little teeny bit beyond us. Well, she's not going to run while everyone else is still standing here. I'll pick someone up and run. I don't care. No, she has to try something. Oh, boy. Well, you can hit him. As much as you want. Not doing anything to him. She's going for an affliction. You hit. You get full multi-attack. Dodge. Parry. Parry. Okay, what does he have to resist? Uh, DC of... Uh, 
You do so have full 16. multi attack. Okay, well, for full multi attack, 21. Okay. Yeah, he's got Duke level of like what parry and dodge. What are your uh, afflictions? Right now, we're going for um, rank one vulnerable, two defenseless, three incapacitated. You slice across him, and he does back away from you, and you appear to have made him defenseless as he's lowered his arms. I don't think that lowers his toughness any, it just means we can crit him all we want. Anything else? Yeah. I'm gonna burn uh, extra effort to attack again. Okay. Doing a normal attack, I assume? Nope. Doing the same thing. Okay, why? Because it's cumulative. Mm. Alright, roll. That's it. Alright, you get all your multi-attack. Same numbered, DC 21. He falls so he over. Yeah. You're still in initiative. Do you have anything else? For good measure, hopping a bit away, because he doesn't know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Heartbreaker. Oh, and fatigue her, please. No, wait, that's next time. Right. Going to attempt to mind control him. Can you mind control an incapacitated target? Oh, is he completely down? Okay. For In that moment. case, I'm going to limp away. Okay. Limp. Is that it? That's all my movement. Alan! Um. Put him in a box! I want to know if he is genuinely incapacitated. Or if he's just fucking with us. So I'm guessing a... Oh, that's not going to be a perception, that's going to be an insight, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, because I said that is what I would like to take a look at. Uh, yeah, yeah, I... I, he, appears I guess... to be, he appears to be unconscious. Oh, what I would do to have found just a few ounces of neutronium in my life. I offered you some, you said didn't want to touch it. <laughs> Anything you're going to do? Uh, thinking. It's just tightly packed neutrons, do it, man. You see, I'm guessing this guy would not have stormed in here if he were genuinely as powerful as he claims to be. Um... So... Well, we, you know, at least Xiaomi knows that he's at least as powerful as hyped up Gook, I guess. We don't know what his other shit is, he could fire lasers on him. Yeah, well, if he just jumps right back up in a moment, um... He can punch through my shields like they're butter. Yeah, he hits really hard. So... Mm. Yeah, I have to roll an 11, like, averages just to resist his punch completely. That's not good odds for anyone else. I am sitting on a huge wealth of hero points. <laughs> Spend the shit out of them. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm. I'm going to double check what mutes and masterminds calls a certain. Uh, let's see here. No, I, I am literally limited by power level here. Even if I could spend enough points to make something tougher, I, I am limited by power level to toughness 22. He's incapacitated. He can't stop you. Yeah, because if he can't swing his arms, he can't use the strength attack. He'd have to use an. Uh, he'd have to use a simple strength or an escape. Or a teleport. 
So on the off chance that he is imprisonable, okay, I actually had a thought. I am gonna go before him. Um, I'm willing to throw myself one last chance just to goddamn body slam this guy with a hit while we can get a crit in. So just saying. Yeah, if you want to lay after me, just let me try that. I'm. Cool. Alan takes some brisk steps over to him and draws a uh, draws a um, uh, a raw material packet. Does anyone believe this guy will live up to his threats about you know destroying the whole universe? Maybe. Possibly. Traitor Ramlev looks very nervous. If he is a servant of Collapsar, it is very possible. I splat this packet on this guy's face, let it swell to its foul five, uh, five foot sphere, and then transmute it to diamond. Alright. That's heavy and hard. And it'll be fused with the floor. Yeah. If he needs to breathe, this will keep him from doing so, and if he needs to pick his head up, his head or entire upper body from the floor to do anything, uh, he he will need to. And then I would like to step back a little, if at all <laughs> possible. Pretty please. You can do so. Okay. Um. Let's put a thing to mark your diamond. And I use diamond because I want to be able to see through it and see his face if he wakes up in there. And, you know. Melts his way through your diamond? That'll work, I guess. Yeah, if, if, if we see him wake up, I want to see him wake up, not just let him scheme under there on, out of our sight. <laughs> All right. Duke. Okay, hold on, I'm just looking at recovery. What does exhaustion do again? Uh, fatigued and hindered. And hindered does what? Um, oh, hold on, no, it's more than fatigued and hindered, it's... Yeah, I'm lucky. Uh, hindered is half movement speed, fatigued is hindered and something else. Vulnerable? I'm trying to find it, it just, it's not easy to find. Here we go, exhausted. Impaired and hindered. So you are minus two circumstance penalty to all checks and half move normal movement speed. Don't need full movement speed to get to him. Well, whatever, I'm I can still get him from here. Well, no, I can hit him from here. Remember? Big creature. Hmm. Larg. He's in that range. to hit him when he's in diamond. Yeah, it's only his head is. The rest of him is outside. Ah, okay. Head and upper body. Yep. So I'll just I go for the groin. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So you're going to kick him in the nuts? Pretty much! Oh, I'm gonna stomp on him. Slam his nuts, whatever. I assume you're making an attack check to land a crit. Yes. Uh should I you know this is our one chance and I've already told you guys to run, I don't give a fuck. I will knock myself out for this. Um you can choose to do that. It's like the last stage after exhausted. You're, if you're willing to do it, you can just knock yourself out for one last go. As GM, go. I will recommend you do not do this. Okay, fine. Yeah. And also, don't. But you you should have one hero point to spend right now. Oh yeah, you're right. I think. No, no, you're right. You're right. Yeah, reduce your exhausted to fatigued, and then do what you're gonna do. Well, I'd rather just stay exhausted because I want to hit this guy because I have a plus two to hit. That's not a very that's the, not good odds. And exhausted I just... makes that a minus adds a minus two to that. Oh well, yeah, but he's got a defense of ten. Thing the thing is, I think my odds he's are better. He's incapacitated. Yeah, no, no, no. I want the crit, right? So I have to get at least a ten. If I uh, choose to just take a twenty and stay exhausted, I'm hitting. Period. If I choose to go down to fatigue, I'm still rolling d20 plus 2, which is a lot larger margin of error. I, I don't want the margin of error, period, because I need to hit. So I'd rather just use it to guarantee a hit, uh, thereby guaranteeing a crit, thereby doing even more damage. Maybe get, finally get through this guy. 
Okay, but the way you're going to do that is remove the exhausted condition down to fatigued, use whatever effort to do this auto do your automatic hit thing, and that will reduce you to exhausted. Oh. Yes. I'm just yes, saying that. do it the other way around from what you said. Yes, okay, that. Yes, we're doing that. You heard him. That's happening. So, the difference now is it's an automatic 20, so add 22. Oh, sorry, 20. Yeah, 22. So I'm that hit last time it hits now. That counts as a crit because he's defenseless. And it's a full power attack. So now I'm doing about as much damage as I could possibly do. <laughs> uh, crit adds 5, right? Yes. Okay, so rank 23 damage effect. Does this get fucking through, roll asshole? Roll an attack check. You do start to roll it. Uh, no, I used uh, the point of using the point. Oh, yeah, all right. Was to make it a, my roll as a 22 hit, period, so... You realize with, that all you have to do is hit a 10 and it's a crit, right? D20 plus 2 is not very easy to hit. All right. Like I said, that's a large margin so of error I don't want to have to make. Hmm? What was the total DC you said? 20, uh, total DC? Well, it's rank 23, so... A 38. DC 38 total. Okay. That's not easy even for me to make. Well, he has my Citrus. defense, so... Uh-huh. It's makeable. So are you kidding or stomping? Um... He needs as much momentum as possible, and it's like a full power attack, so I'm assuming he's literally like all... like both arms in the air, running forward and swinging both down into just like a combined... Uh, you know, when you grab both of your hands together and make, like, basically one big fist. So you're hitting it, it, like, in the stomach, lower groin area. Yeah, there, yeah. You leave a dent in him. Ha, ah, he is a cop truck. Well, no, as, as I mean, you dented his stomach inside him. Ooh, that looks like it sucks. Well, there goes these Nuts' presidential candidacy. <laughs> it's probably a very loud flom. And yeah, that's my whole turn. Hulk smash! Have a good run. So, let me just make sure something's working here. My chat is going to be And up. then a black hole appears in the sky because we haven't been looking up. As well as the planet. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Horizon's turn. His eyes open. Yep. And all the slashes look from Chiyome and that dent in him disappear. Boop. We've got an invulnerability 20 guy here. More What's than that. Defenses? Alan. Howdy. You are familiar with what's happening. You are intimately familiar with what's about to happen. Because the ground around you is changing. Yep. Into what? Pudding? Mmm. Not quite. Thank you. Do you, you wish it was pudding? <laughs> hey guys, guess what? Pissing someone off with cosmic powers just pisses them off. <laughs> well, now we know. What's notable is that this guy does not have the same limitations you do. Mm-hmm. I'm not surprised. Because ground is turning into magma. Oh, that's just mean. Everyone make a reflex to try and jump to somewhere that's safe. The, dice, the floor is lava. The floor is lava. The dice is, is slightly above or? the lava. No, reflex. Sorry. They, dodge? That's not a thing. Yes. Dodge, yeah. Dodge. Do dodge. Yeah. Lava is friend. I hug it. You can either try a... Jump to the dais as possible, or try and climb the outer walls. I'm going for the dais. It's closer and realistically more possible. Uh, I'm already on the dais. You were on the dais. You need to dive onto a little bit. What is Heartbreak going to do? Be screwed. Mm, actually. Your, re your dodge is just barely good enough to try something, so I'm going to check something really quick.
Yeah. Heartbreak, we need to make an acrobatics to either try and get to the dice or try and grab on and hold on to the wall. Your choice. Did you skip arm day, boy? Okay, well, he I'm doesn't try skip grab the wall. He okay. doesn't skip feed the homeless day, so. Congratulations, you have grabbed onto the wall, barely above the edge of the magma. Jaume, you are able to get up on top of the wall safely, because I assume that's where you're going. Yep. Alan that is fine. The Duke does not move at all before that magma is up around his lights. Crap. Duke, you are slowly sinking. I climb aboard the dais. It is not your turn. Then I can't do anything about the sinking thing. Yes. Notably, Horizon floats up and through the diamond. Cheating son of a bitch. <laughs> and he's not done yet, either. That's not one of our powers, stop doing that. <laughs> he's going to look around. Your attempts are futile. We'll all be cast into the void, as all things should be. That is not to say that some of you have not angered me with your impudence. He points a hand at Captain Conroe. Don't do it! Captain Conroe explodes. I'd ask to interpose that, but I don't think that makes any sense. You cannot interpose this. Yeah, I didn't think so. Captain Conroe explodes. Alan, Rachel Ramlev, and the outside of the Duke are covered in gore. Chilmang. So wait, Tiny Laser Man pissed you off, and us hitting you with the force of basically the thing didn't? You got a weird level of pissed off, sir. He kind of laughs. You are tainted by the Corruptors and expected to have troublesome power. He was a mortal. Mortals are too. not allowed to touch the heralds of gods. Hold on, let me get out of my suit and go punch you then, asshole. I welcome it. Stop trying to stop trying to uh, to uh, to, to repartee with him while he's got us at his mercy. I'm trying to make him focus on me so that you can run the fuck away. Are you communicating this out loud? No, that was uh, that last part was definitely on the com. But if I hear that, I don't care. What I was saying was definitely said through clenched teeth. What I was saying was just said through the com, and we can probably hear that regardless. So I'm like. If you think you will be fleeing, you are greatly mistaken. How about y'all just leave then? I'm hoping it's Chiomi's turn. It yeah. is Chiomi's turn. Um, I need to be able to run down, grab Heartbreaker, and pull him up to here. With her wall running and jumping, I think she can probably do this. It's not really a problem for you. Yeah. Defying gravity is her specialty. And considering Heartbreaker is willing and your strength, you really don't have any problems bringing him up. It would just take you a full round to do so. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, you will both be pulled up onto the platforms. Which, by the way, I should have moved these senators because they ran for their lives. Well then, that's Jomei's turn, saving Heartbreaker. Heartbreaker should be very... Grateful on his turn. The floor is lava! Out with her. No, 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 no. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> well. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Thank you so much. I give her a hug and then I try to, uh. And then since she my movement now, I would try to mind control the guy who I can't mind control. Yeah, you can reach out to his mind, and you can touch it, and you are overwhelmed by enormous blackness, a complete void. Do you yeah, have the option? 
You have the option to the power telling you to fuck off. Hold on. You have the option to stay in and try at the risk of unknown consequences, or you pull out. Your option. <laughs> I've never been one to pull out. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna stay in and try. <sighs> that explains the yeah, celibacy. Yeah, this is gonna this is gonna screw me. Hey, it's it's, not, it, 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 it's what we're here for. Hey, I've already is screwed myself. Nothing is happening this round. You'll see what happens on your next one. This will be fun. Is... Anything harder than diamond? I don't think then. Okay, when I say he went through it, he didn't break it. He went through it. Oh, he incorporated through it. You know, I was gonna, you know, if we had a minute at the lab, I was gonna make show you a material that things can't phase through, but, you know. Yeah. Can you turn the floor into not lava, maybe? You can't change its temperature. I'll accept something I don't think into. Plus, yes. Plus, I have to touch it. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Little complication there. The thing about Bagma is if this was real life, I'd already be dead. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, let's, go, let's just back assume back. he was he was superheating the floor until the stone flags started to lift away. Not real magma, so much as just melty stone. Um, Which is not the same thing. Go ahead. Ooh. Honestly, I'm just gonna get on dais and throw you to the stands, Alan. <laughs> so you have well, an out. He clearly does not need to breathe. He clearly can phase. He clearly is. Doesn't give a fuck. Probably still to this moment immaterial. Could tank our best hits. She only really hit caring. him. Like, she only had to do both physically hit him. Yeah, With but he just phased case. through that, that, uh, that diamond. Like, after those things happened. I get the impression he's just kind of letting us hit him. No matter what damage we do, he just repairs. Um, I am racking my mind for options as much as Alad actually would be. What could he possibly do to something expressing these abilities? Fucking run comes to mind. No one to fold him. Take Praetor and Slippy Slide out of here. I'll note that the exits are kind of blocked off by magma. Blocked off by, or their floors are also? Blocked off by. Okay, so the two passages at either end of this uh, carpet are blocked? Yes. At least you can't see the floors anymore. Gotcha. see magma there. Gotcha. Um... Wait... Matter canning. Mm hmm? Does this... You said that the, that as the floor beneath us changed, I felt something intimately familiar. He's as in he's changing it the exact way you change things. A bit more powerful than the way you change things, but the exact same method. He has your powers. Actually, I have the opinion he has In any that powers case, he fucking wants. On the slim hope that he's, um, that, 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 these, that these same sort of quantum forces might be the very pivot of his powers, I'm going to try attacking him back the same way. Give me just a second, because this is so a stunt. <laughs> Are you trying to create a... 
sorry. Are you trying to create a feedback loop in him or something? Oh. That'd be funny as hell. Just a moment. I need to snap out a power. Penetrating, multi attack. Still afford a little more here. Oh, wait, I need to have. I need to give a specific penetrating rank, not just whatever. And it is based on transmutation. Okay. In the hopes that if there's if he has any way to resist this, it will be out of a contest of wills, which he's probably got an edge on on me, but Alan does Someone not care. Small edge, yes. Pardon? The very small edge he has on you, yes. Yes, yeah. Um. Ah, uh, Alan is going to attempt to crystallize not just the air. But all matter in a bunch of lines coming out from his fingers. This is huh. uh, it is it is going to be a damage eleven, accurate five, insidious multi attack, penetrating eleven, with a weakened rider. Oh because it's going to damage the very structure of whatever successfully transmutes. So okay. It's going, it's, going, uh, it's going to have a, uh, a weakened... Uh, just a weakened 10 rider, uh, which will weaken uh, toughness. Okay. So to make your attack. Yep. So, can someone explain to me what the hell Alan is doing? Uh, I am... <laughs> My god, when did I get married? I am crystallizing a whole bunch of spikes in the air, and I'm doing so invisibly so that it can be insidious. Why are you trying to impale the man who can recover from anything? You have hit! And I can't even improve that by adding a, uh, a reroll, but oh well. How much multi attack bonus do I get? All of it. Excellent. He's my defenses guy, you can hit him. <laughs> okay, so that's a plus five. It's a shame I can't get a crit out of that as well. So, we had our option, but. Damage, uh, damage uh, rank is 16, and that is penetrating. To the same rank. Okay. In case he has a pervious or higher than that. And uh, he needs to also make a fortitude, not toughness, resist against DC 20. And lose toughness by a margin of however much he fails it by. Okay. What did you say the DC of your damage was? The damage DC is... Uh, but for damage DC will be uh, 15 plus 16, 31. And I well, you open... pierce his skin, and it, it's things that would normally bleed on a person, but don't appear to be bleeding on him. 
They just hold. I hit him harder than that, and the fucker didn't flinch. You hit him with a fist. I've just ripped holes in his skin. I don't think he bleeds. <laughs> but he doesn't seem to care about anything else he might have done, though it's hard to tell, of course. To your credit, that was cool as hell. I will remind you that in Geo Maze, um... What's it called? The Insight. Well, we know his defense is as good as mine. Assessment. Toughness. Assessment. He is immune to fortitude effects. That's why okay, I can't so say the, the, Okay, so the... the, the right. Okay. Um, That's why he doesn't need... We got a bruise on him. You had I a think, bruise on him already. I think yeah. we did a bit more than a bruise when I dented his entire abdomen inwards, but he just doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, I'm... Uh, see, this is the other thing. It's maintained. If he if uh, if he doesn't have a, a way to, um, to to transmute that matter that I am holding transmuted, then he's not going to be able to move from that spot. So, uh, guys, pile on. He's in lava. How am I supposed to pile onto that? He's I guess fired. I can dunk him in. Speaking it. of, I assume that's Alan's turn. Yeah. Duke, you're standing in lava. Give me a toughness check. <sighs> I'm just gonna assume lava has a. Actually, it's gone up. Uh, damage rank 11 or lower. I ignore. I'm assuming lava's higher though. But, well, it's not actual um, lava though. It's not actual lava. So 11 and lower, I can just wade through. So that is the question. Yeah, actually, you're fine. All right, cool. All right, piling on. Uh, hmm. I can't really hit any harder than I already hit. Um. I already hit him with everything I had, and he just didn't get Goddamn. Duh. You have no guns, no missiles, no explosives. You I can have stuff guns, none of them hit that hard. Dude, I threw like a rank, what was it, like 36, 32, around there? At him? I can't shoot or flamethrower that hard. There isn't anything that shoots, or, well, maybe there is something that shoots, but <laughs> I then don't go have it. save the others and make a teleporter. You underestimate how you overestimate how quick I am about that. Uh, so you're maintaining that, right? You're maintaining yep. it by having like little like blades come out of your hands, basically, right? Transparent. There, you can see the distortion of the air, but that's it. Oh, uh, like this? Okay, I know what you're talking about. I'm thinking. Picture of the way I make my shields. I've just made spikes through them. Okay. Well, I have a thought on that. Um. Can you move like your hands and therefore move him? I was thinking I could just dunk him in the lava and just hold him there till he drowns. It's an improvised power, so I have no idea. And as far as that, um, he, I don't he think has... it's going to work either, but I'm out of options. <laughs> Do what you think is best. Alan is lost. He, okay, he's, this is going to require. Just here. It is time for teamwork. I am going to hold him. Let's hold on. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to hold him, and I'm going to do a teamwork attack with Chiomi. We need to hit this guy as hard as possible. Chiomi needs to remove his defenses again, and then we need to just pile on this guy. Just throw Chiomi ourselves at him again. can't stand any words to hit him. Stand on me. I'm going to stand next to him. I'm going to help. That is perfectly possible. Alan, hold him. So I'm basically just going to grab on and hold and help Alan do it. You're going to jump on, make him defenseless, and then we're just going to pile the shit in. Just throw everything at him and just see if we can just beat him and to death. Hope Heartbreaker's brain doesn't turn inside out when he attempts to seize this guy by the skull. Actually, honestly, I'm just hoping he can turn off regeneration and then we could beat him. Because that was the problem. So, yep. yes, I am here, I guess, in this particular matter. Um... And I'm going to use my entire action from there just to try and hold him. I mean, there's no point in not swinging, but... All out attack, that hits my defenses, so it hits his. Um, it's a rank 13 effect, but I'm pretty sure he's going to shrug that off, but whatever. Rank 13 means total DC of 28. Mm. He doesn't have to roll very high, I would know. Yes, he does not care. 
Uh, strength contest to grapple. Or he can use his dodge, I think, but I don't think he's going to. You actually managed to get a hold on him this time. All right, how good of a hold? Only barely. All right, well, I got a hold. Okay, he's injured. So between your blades and me, this should keep him here while Chiomi just literally butchers him. Stand on my head, defenseless, then just infinity attack him into oblivion. Let's hope. Horizon looks down at the spikes in him, even though they should be impossible to see. And just, I'm um, clenching him on the spikes. And he looked at the dude. You lied. No, I didn't. <laughs> you are not the strongest one. You're talking about physicality or mental? I would say the strongest of you go to the void first. And he turns towards Alan. And he just looks at Alan. And Alan needs to make a toughness check. I do not have a spare hand with which to make a goodbye salute. Toughness? <laughs> toughness. Can I interpose his gaze or some shit? Not if you want to keep grabbing him. Y yeah, no, I'll let go of the grab. I'll interpose that fucking gaze. Uh, whatever the you, you can assume that he's making an attack, is what he said. So sure, you can interpose him and jump in front. I just don't know if that'll help this pickle. Uh, I don't know. It's more worth it for me to try and at let's, least let's, pretend to save my guy's life. Um, it's, uh... Let, let, let's see how this works out for him. You're interposing? Yes, I will interpose no, the attempt. No, 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 no. I said, yeah. let's see how this works out for us. And, oh, uh, fine. A 28. That's not a bad roll. Good dab. Only three degrees of failure. <laughs> Your organs are only mostly mush. Well, only half of you goes to the white. <laughs> Alan, when you open your eyes again, you're on the bleachers. Your chest hurts a lot. Okay, you went there. He got I'm, hit in the chest, and he I'm, flew up into the bleachers. Oh, he's telling me to slam him by you. Yeah. You are dazed. Roger that. If you hadn't rolled so well, you would be unconscious or dead. Yep. Yep, so yep, two degrees of failure. See, looks legit. But Horizon is not done. So. How are you not done? <laughs> Do you think that, that question is going to be answered? I hope not. He's going to reach out with one hand and touch the Duke's arm. Duke, your arm starts melting. Son of a bitch. You uh, can react to this by letting go, or you can hold on letting him keep melting your arm. How's he doing this as a... Uh, I'm not even questioning how he's doing it, cosmic powers, blah blah blah. Uh, no, I like him, I like my arm, I need that. So you're going to let go? Yeah, I'm gonna let go. Okay. You can take one five to step away if you want. And he will let you do so. Oh, Are you seeing the folly that is competing with the void yet? Y'all realize people don't go down soft? Most of you do. I don't know. I think we're doing pretty well. Y'all weren't cheating. <laughs> Fucking regeneration bullshit. If you think I am difficult, you have no idea what is coming. Oh my god, he's gonna kill us with Ah, Heartbreaker, go see to Alan. She says as he's like sitting there drilling. <laughs> she can actually attack him from here at least, so I don't even need to stand on the Duke. Mm -hmm. Beat on him. So trying the same affliction. Uh, do you have power attack? Because now's the time to just throw the shit in there, because you're gonna hit. Even without having it all out. Regardless, this time your sword spang off his outstretched staff. 
Uh oh. Mm. I'm done playing games with you. Oh dear. Remember that thing where I said y'all should run? The joke is giving up on us. <laughs> well, I'm, yeah. Y'all should have run! Actually, I still have one idea. I just need to get up and undazed to do it. Well, it's Heartbreaker's turn. I hope that idea is a heal you if he wants to. If he wants to get out of his of Horizon's brain. He has one chance to do that before it kicks in. Sorry, I can do what now? You have one chance to get out of Horizon's brain before the side effects of being exposed to an endless void kick in. And Alan kind of needs to be healed. Okay, I'll give it the shot. You're staying in. He, he, he is, he is as, uh... <laughs> Both of us normal human folk, we, 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 we kind of... We press it because if we don't succeed, we're not going to be here to see the consequences, so, um... Okay, make me a will save. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of screwed either way at this point, so... We're all screwed. I'd like to point out that we're putting up a good fight, though. No, you're not. Yes, we are. No, you're not. Yes, we are. Shut the hell that up. That is rank 11 now. Okay, make a will save. I'm asking you to make a will save. Who's me? Me? Heartbreaker. Yeah. Heartbreaker. He's, he's the one trying to infiltrate this dude's brain. That, that is my good save. Okay. Yes, it is. D20 plus 11. I got a shit. Roll. Uh, well, I'll yeah. see you guys all in the act. Uh, if you life. use... Do you have any hero points left to uh, consider? Uh, I have three hero points. I'm going to use one to re-roll that. Okay. Can you just add to it? But I forget how that works. Uh, uh, you re-roll oh, it. Let me tell you something now. You yeah. can only use one hero point in a round. You could use that to re-roll it, or you could use it to shrug off whatever happens and go try to do something else. Mm -hmm. I'm going to re-roll that. Okay. And if you get a 1 through a 10, it'll, uh, it, you'll automatically add 10 to it. Much better. Luckily, with this roll, you don't collapse into a gibbering mess. Hooray! Yay! You Small realize victories. that there's no chance at all of your ability taking purchase, especially when you're off-planet. But you managed to extricate yourself before Collapsar's gaze turns on you. Which probably would have sucked. It would have left him brain dead. We need his brain. Just a bit. But you do have actions to do because that was purely in your mind. Take your turn. I'm gonna limp over towards Al. He does kinda need healing if he's gonna do anything. That's my movement. I'm going to use my one heal on him. Okay. Uh, rolling my heal, which is also at rank 11 now. Just check how healing works. We haven't done that in a while. That will actually get rid of both the bruise and the daze. Okay. So Alan is surrounded with Heartbreaker's red, the heart, pink ish healing light. And he suddenly feels a lot better. Just in time for his turn. Is Heartbreaker's mental communication working? Yes. 
I, uh, I, 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 I hum in his direction. Please tell me you can summon at least one lucky little rabbit. My rabbit's got one hell of a teleport, but I don't know if it reaches this far. Maybe he could, like, teleport off his my... way here. All of my summons are back on Earth, buddy. Please tell me you can summon some benevolent alien life form. I can, can try to reach out the thing, but I don't know what's out here. As it is, you can't detect much of anything. There is nothing for me to summon here. Okay. Um, you guys try and get out of here. I think I know a way I can deal with this guy, but it's not going to work out for anyone in the area. Uh, I'll be alright. Uh, Alan uh, steps to the edge here and forms a... Uh, Forms uh, some crystalline air down to the dais and shouts, uh, Your praetorship! I think it's time to leave! He'll stagger out of his terrified daze because he's not equipped to handle this and just kind of stammer, uh, Yes, yes! And immediately scamper up and run. And I'm going to maintain that bridge, because I'm going to need it, assuming Arisen doesn't kill me in the next six seconds. Go. Duke! Well... This sucks. Hmm... Beating on him is futile, but I need to keep his attention on me, I'm pursuing, so... Hmm... What would Duke do besides hit him again? Because punching worked so well last time, I'm going to just keep punching it. <laughs> Throw lava in his face. He is done fucking around, and if Xiaomi can't hit him, I'm not hitting him. We're all doomed anyway, the hell are you even here for? You are doomed by the coming of my lord Collapsar. Ah, thank you. Piss off, let him do his thing. I am here to serve as a beacon to guide him. Not and sit there and shut up. Oh, wait, hold on. Is that beacon? You are tainted by the corruptors. It must be cleansed before my lord ever sees you. Why? You are not worthy to be in his sight. Oh. Alright, you said you were a bacon then? And as he says, no, beacon, I uppercut him as hard as I can. Uh, no, he won't move. Well, hell, I'll throw myself at him and just try and move him. Like, literally just throw self at just by sheer force of I'm pushing you away. Make me a uh, 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 Brad, you, uh, you may want to repeat that loud enough for Chris to hear you. Dude, try to break his staff. That's a thought, but I'm trying this first. Make a toughness check. That was toughness. Was it? Okay. Yeah, I got plus Luckily, 22 to it. you rolled well enough not to crumple the duke on him. <laughs> Damn, how are you this heavy? He does not move. Damn, you're heavy. He's not yeah, heavy. He is movable. <laughs> movable logic, huh? Well, I tried. Damn, I was really hoping that'd work. Quick. We need an unstoppable force. I thought I was that, and it didn't work. <laughs> You're not unstoppable, you're just hard to stop. Horizon! Closest we had at hand. We'll raise his staff into the air, where it will glow. And every last one of you is suddenly pushed to the ground by a cloying black cloud. Physical cloud? Yes. Crap. I grow bored of testing your strengths and your limits. I you are tainted yet. by the Corruptors, and so you will be cleansed before my Lord Collapsar has to set eyes upon you. Asshole. Already saw. Heartbreaker. Damn, this hurts. <laughs> he raises his staff a bit higher, and the black clouds above you all start to glow even more. But he's visibly still charging whatever this is. 
when you are hit by a surprisingly familiar flash of bright white light. And a lurching in your stomach. Well, I had to die something. Again, his attack was still charging. Hmm. Just one thing to do really quick. If you could set the music back to Night of Chaos, please. Setting. And for a moment, you all find yourselves just in the void. A complete white expanse. Huh. You can see each other. You can communicate if you want. Uh... I have communicated. <laughs> well, um, I'm 50% sure we ain't dead. Okay, who told Yugi that the Pharaoh dies at the end of his series? Heh. <laughs> oh, one second, I lost connection to the server. You want me to kick your ghosts then? Yes, I will need you to. There's nothing much to see in the void, just white as far as you can see, besides your companions. Oh, maybe we're in the hyperbolic time chamber. Right, well... Oh, well, that's actually a pretty good idea, Tio. Well, we put up a good fight, y'all. Um, since there's nothing around for me to build, I can't exactly science us out of this one. Uh, Heartbreaker, can you rabbit teleport through space and time and dimensions? Heartbreaker can detect nothing in this dimension, but he can detect the Earth is actually getting closer as you speak. No, I cannot. Mm hmm? I think that's him responding to the Duke. Yeah. Mm. No, I, I can't summon anything. Well, I don't know where we are or what happened, but if this is the afterlife, it fucking sucks. I don't think we're dead. Well, then what are we? Clearly, this is a white box. All we have to do is fly fast enough in one direction to make it grow big enough that it can't possibly accommodate all of us at, at the same time. Fair enough. Alan, come here, I'm going to toss you. It it does this is what I got for not joining the Planeteers. <laughs> the what tears? And suddenly, you get another lurch in your stomach. And all of Grace. you collapse. Waffles. How is he in my stomach? He's like six feet tall. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a good place to stop. More that it's six o'clock, and a lot of things are going to be happening the next uh, time you will wake up. This sounds good. I need to eat. Now, well, food is for the week. Tune in to the next episode of Doctor Who. <laughs> you see why I was looking forward to this one? Just because you got to beat the shit out of us for a bit. Yeah. Are we going to get those face face huggers on us? Because that episode was great. For your information, I'm going to tell you some things about Horizon. Just so you, you, that you know that you were not meant to win that fight. Yeah, well, I was about to go for a a, a sacrifice play and uh, see if I could convert all the matter immediately around him. 
into zero point energy. That's actually what he uses. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you want to see the void? Here, let me introduce you. Hmm. I just kind of assume for the moment he recovered from being unconscious instantly. Yeah, from going he, from down completely after body slamming and just everything on earth hitting him, and he's just like, hey, I'm good. He is an ass ton of impervious toughness, protection, regeneration, and immunity. He could fly at two million miles per hour. Jesus Christ, well, that explains how he gets around. Uh-huh. His staff, well, normally you think that's a good idea, it actually just isn't anything but a staff. It's just a stick. It's just a stick. <laughs> it's just it's a strength-based damage five. I wave my powers over your head and go clunk. <laughs> he didn't even use some of his abilities there, like the blinding flare, the burst area, cumulative affliction 16. Oh yeah, this guy was power level 16. Uh, I thought he was the prior. Power level 16, wow, that's uh, pretty up there. Uh-huh. Well, I feel good about both hitting him with the force unbeknownst to gods and tanking him punching me back. Yes, it was very impressive that you were able to tank his damage 18 effect. And with then penetrating I hit him with one. 18. And then I punched him back with a damage rating 20, whatever, 23, I think. So, yeah. It's a good, it's a good thing you took your arm away, by the way, from his matter dissolution ability. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> I kind of want an arm. I like heavy arms. And of course, he has matter rearrangement anything into anything. Yeah. This guy has like a million powers. Is Carpet playing him? <laughs> He's uh, a he servant just... of a being that has no power level. He's a servant he... of a being that eats dimensions. The... It's literally, uh, it's the Galactus stand. It's a living black hole uh -huh. with a silver surfer, Herald, who is all the powers ever. Except it's actually more powerful than Galactus. Well, yeah, it's black hole by nature. Galactus can't punch that, so the black hole wins. Anyways. Yes. Good session. I will see you all next week. We're it's slightly really... closer to mundanity. Yeah. Still There's have a... all of us dying. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Only a little bit. It's just oh, a yeah. dragon. It's just a dragon. It's just a giant fucking this dragon. dragon. going to eat Fulton, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I should get a... I should get a... Dazing meta magic gem to use with crushing rocks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I have that kind of money. <laughs> Probably no not. one does. Well, uh, I did really like seeing us basically spendable. throw ourselves at an opponent with everything we had. That was cool. I'm surprised you did as well as you did, honestly. I limped away. Uh, of my course, affliction the problem wouldn't is... have worked. Well, you had already blown your ultimate superpower thing trick. I mean, you use it on a non-combat thing, but you still did an amazing thing. That's my point. What were you saying? Oh, just that my affliction wouldn't have worked if it hadn't gotten to rank 3. If it's on rank 2, you recover it instantly because the second uh, check is fortitude. Mm. Mm. Yeah. But you got the rank 3, so he was out for a little bit. And then he just woke up again. <laughs> okay, well I'm out. See yeah. you guys later. Bye. Night. See y'all later.